All right, there we go. Hi, everybody. How's it going? Welcome to episode, I think it is nine? Episode nine of The Savage Tide. I'm Eric, your host and dungeon master uh, this morning. i uh, super excited to get in. Sorry we couldn't play last week. Um, but if you're watching this on a VOD, that doesn't matter because what is time? Um, let's let's. You're not here to hear me talk, though. You're here to hear what everyone else is saying. So let's let's throw go down the the regular old order here. Uh, Dempsey can't be with us today, uh, so we are we're we're playing with uh, one person down. We're all going to um, Jaeger. Uh, <laughs> uh, oh, oh man, I have the I have the cameras messed up. My bad. Uh, we have we're just going to Jaeger um, Dempsey's uh, Coric today. But uh, anyways, Katie, take it away. Hi, I'm Katie. Um, I play Finian Cragwolf, who is a human knowledge cleric for Istis. And she likes to just run away and get lost. It's true. No lie there. <laughs> Hello, I'm Kelsa. Uh, I'm going to be playing Bajgo, who is a half-orc barbarian. Um, and very um, uh, impulsive and uh, violent. Right. Yeah, sounds perfect. Yeah, and uh, hey, I am a pro. I am playing Daquan Blacksail. He, him, the storm sorcerer, kind of the charming Jack Sparrow character in this uh, pirate guy. So yeah, hey, I will be back. Yeah, perfect. So um, I'll do the recap for this time. Let's do our music. Get that all squared away. Our party left the desolate Pearl and the Forward Horizon crew behind as they disembarked near Kraken's Cove. Between the smoke and fire and wretched red reefs surrounding the cove, it uh, made it impossible for the ship to get any closer. Uh, to get to the cove, it would be an hour's hike inland. Um, for the party, uh, ahead of you, there is a faintly shimmering iridescent bubble that circumscribes the, your direction towards the cove. Uh, it's obviously magical in nature with traces of chaos, evil, and transmutation magic. Attempts to investigate it further leaves you only with more questions. But what's clear is that it's certainly no good, and no good has ever come from a bubble like this. Uh, with no choice uh, but to press on, you each pass through it. So who goes first? Uh, Bajko. For sure. <laughs> awesome. <laughs> Yep, it's just like it's like walking into a bubble. Like it, like it presses. Like there's a sort of like weird, you know, that feeling, that 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 bubbly texture, and you just go boop, right through it. Kind of turns soundless. back over his shoulder and is like, I don't like this at all. Magic. <laughs> if uh, Finny sees that nothing happened to Bajko, she's gonna pass through too. Yeah. Day yeah, one happens. Well. Awesome. Cool. Everything inside uh, feels the same. Um, as though the bubble wasn't there. Um, the plant life seems relatively unaffected, uh, but whatever happened here, um, it has affected the coloration of the flowers. Uh, blooms of bizarre botan uh, botanicals uh, blossom and, and unfold. Um, however, uh, the first signs of this bubble's effects on animal life become clear to you as rats of dead wildlife, from parrot to gull to monkey to snake, lie dead on the ground, their bodies horribly distorted and deformed. Um, you, you, we, it, it's, I, I point it's at nasty. one, very obviously. I'm sure everyone has already seen them and be like, I told you magic is bad. Yeah. I don't like it. Um, think of them, they, they look like they might have had like some sort of disease on them. Like they would have been postules on their body, like covering them and through those postules, spikes or tentacles or eye stalks have come through. Um, and then you finally see something that's alive. Um, that's you, watch a at all. you watch a mouth. You watch it's a regular size butterfly, right? Um, it's malformed with a bunch of little tiny, like dangling tentacles where its legs are, like or or a frills, like a like a cuttlefish, right? That that wavy thing, um, as well as its iridescent rings. It's blood soaked, uh, turquoise butterfly. It just it just flies over. It flutters over to um, what it looks to be like a small uh, two-headed purple lizard 
and it just dashes down, and you see two proboscis, like bony protrusions, just go right into the skulls of, of that lizard. And then rather than eat it, it just then it just flutters away. Perfectly fine. Yeah, Finny hates all of this. <laughs> just not comfortable at all. What the fuck was that? Mm-hmm. I'm I'm not I'm not sure, but maybe we should just press on and ignore it. I don't, I... Want, to it. I don't want to wind up like it. Oh, and uh, <laughs> re- real quick before we go any further, uh, I know you all re- uh, rolled for your inspiration triggers today. Can you tell Can you tell the audience what they are today for each of you? Uh, same same cast order. Uh, yeah, mine is bear witness to an act you genuinely consider a miracle or fate by Istus. Okay. Mine is call upon Vathis as you accomplish a difficult task or defeat an enemy. Can and, you remind uh, for also those who, of you, yeah, yeah. <laughs> for those of you who are not familiar with very obscure Greyhawk uh, gods, uh, that is the hero god of anguish, lost causes, and more importantly, revenge. Uh, that Bajko is faithful to. Mm-hmm. And uh, mine is describe a desperate act of survival you attempted in difficult circumstances. So this fits right in. Oh, absolutely. I rolled one for Korik too. That way we can we can all do this. Which oh, yeah. turned out to be challenge a worthy foe to honorable combat, even if they don't accept. Yes. That sounds like it'll be really easy as long as we can find a worthy foe. Yeah, <laughs> quite me. Um, that butterfly is not a worthy foe. Maybe if we just don't touch anything and continue on what we're supposed to do, we'll get out of here without ending up like that. This is all quite disturbing. Yeah. Um... Right. So as you as you all make forward um, through through this sort of like weird, strange jungles towards the cove, um, you hear the shrieks and hollers of what sounds to be uh, a, a troop of of monkeys. Um, you don't you see them before they see you. Uh, they are currently about. Um, Let's say for the map's purposes, they're about 60 feet away. They're hanging in the trees, and they seem to just be fighting each other right now. Um, they all seem to be different colors. Uh, but each of those also has the postules and spiky protrusions from them. Whatever... Different, different colors like normal, regular uh, monkey colors, or different colors like a rainbow? Like a rainbow. Thanks, I Yeah. <laughs> Um, do we have to like pass by them to to get where we're going? No, uh, you you just you see them before that. So if you wanted to like skirt around them, you totally could try. Um, Boshko's not going to suggest that, but Kelsa thinks it's a good idea. I mean, yeah, Finny, I was about to say, can I can I stealth past them? Yeah, <laughs> quickly. Uh, just. Yeah, totally. You want to try to try to um, keep an eye on them and and creep by. Yeah, she, Finny's just gonna look at the group and just be like, Shh, "We need to avoid anything. It's probably for the best." Absolutely, be like I that. agree. Oh. Um, can I, I don't get? Like it. Okay. Right. Um. So let's. Can you can you all roll uh, a self checks because we're all gonna creep by. Oh my God. Mm-hmm. Plus five and a ten. Yeah, if, if Finny did better than you on stealth, get it together, Daquan. No. <laughs> so, uh, do we start with inspiration? Yeah, you start with inspiration. All right, I'm, I'm going to go ahead and use it here just because mm-hmm. uh, I think it's a good idea. Oh, right. wait, I'm actually trained in stealth? Crazy. Still using it. <laughs> okay. Not that 17. I needed it, but okay. Okay. Uh, I'll roll for uh, correct too. Ten, yeah. Awesome. Okay. So, well, I um, rolled us both. Great. Two of us rolled a seventeen, and two of us rolled a ten. That is great. <laughs> well, Team <that's>... consistent. <laughs> <laughs> well, 
uh, these monkeys are, uh, this troop is clearly too distracted to fight, um, fighting amongst each other to, um, see you all. And you, um, adroitly step by. Um, can I, as we're stepping by, like, could I? No, that's fine. That's fine. I don't need to. Okay. It doesn't make sense. Yeah, no problem. Okay. Um, so then I'm going to bring us over to sort of an overview map so you can get an idea of what we're looking at here. Can I describe stuff? Zoom out. Back. See it? All right. So you, you, got, you make your way through the jungles, and then we kind of get closer to the cliffs where you can hear the roaring parts of the fire and the smoke coming around you. And uh, your, your, your eyes are you're greeted with a tragic and uh, pretty horrific sight. Um, in the sheltered cove below, an inferno rages atop the water. Several ships, including a two-masted caravel, a sizable frigate, and a large barge of what may have once been a schooner are all ablaze. Further out, a three-masted caravel seems to have escaped the fire. For now. A shining slick on the surface of the water itself burns as well, creating a wall of wood and flame. The heat rises in searing sheets, and the roar of the flaming maelstrom, mixed with the crashing surf, masks any other sounds that might be issuing up from below. Though periodic gaps in the smoke, however, a movement on the beach is visible. Something still lives in the ferno below. And uh, I'm only going to keep you on this page for just a moment, because I'm going to bring you over to uh, what the, that, the true beach scene as you approach. It's gnarly. Yeah, wow. I can say that again. Um, uh, what what is that like? Kind of, it, it, what are we standing on? It looks like a boardwalk or something. Yep, it's a boardwalk leading down um, from the uh, sort of like upper cliff areas of the jungles, and you're coming down into the cave. Oh, so it's like a it's like a ramp. Yeah, it's it's like a um, uh, not not necessarily a switchback stairs, but yeah, it's like it's a ramp going down, or a set of stairs. Okay. It's it's, it's, stair, it's let's say it's stairs, not a ramp, but yeah. Sure. Uh, during this walk, um, Daquan uh, would have gotten his um, water skin and just like sprayed it all over himself, um, and then like would have just like clicked his fingers and it would like solidify and into this like thin layer of ice over his skin. Um, and I'm gonna be casting a false life on myself. Sure, sounds right. So yeah, one d four plus four hit points. That's what I'm doing because I need to be a big boy. Which <laughs> <laughs> can get a fire. Be fine. Oh, eight extra hit points. Nice. Okay. Not bad. Yeah, sorry. Okay. I forgot to bring this over to the map screen, but there we go. Um, zoom out so we can kind of get a sense of a scope of the carnage. That wants to load. Right. So um, there's blood and oil and slickness in the water. Uh, there seems to be bones and things littering the beach, um, as well as a couple. Um, um, looks like people uh, moving through the beach. Uh, looks like rummaging. They haven't noticed you. <coughs> can I kind of see? Um, yeah. Can we see like who they are? Do any colors or anything? It's real. Uh, I would need a check from you because of the smoke and everything. It's hard to see. Uh, but it's very distracting around here. But yeah, so there's like a about fifty feet or so of beach, uh, leading into um, a cove, right into like rocks and and water and, and clearly a cave system. Um, so a thirteen. Um, yeah. So uh, you could see that um, there are uh, definitely uh, blood covered pirates. Um, currently, uh, looks, they seem to be gnawing on bones. Uh, they don't look too good. They, uh, are you seeing this? You'll see what I see. I, I don't like anything that I'm seeing right now, Daquan. Um, it looks like they need to die or die again. Can, if they haven't, you said it's really smoky here, right? And, um, mm -hmm. is there any way that I could maybe perception or, or investigate a way to get around them without being noticed? Um, like, if we, if we stealth through yeah. the smoke or something? Yeah. Um, definitely. 
Uh, you can you can definitely try to like you know keep your distance from there and like creep your way up to the caves. Um, okay. But you, as you can see, sort of on the map here, I don't think I have um, dynamic lighting super enabled here. Um, you can see that there's um, there's about five or so of these creatures, uh, these these mm -hmm. once pirates around. Um, the ones on the beach right now are sort of distracted eating, but then there's like two of them who are also like licking up blood near the entrance of the uh, the cove. Um, however, uh, to the east, there seems to be an old little like rickety bridge going over um, what looks to be like a tide basin, uh, leading further into um, sort of like more of cove area. So um, you kind of have two entrances here, but the problem is that blocking both of those is are these um, creatures. Creatures. Hmm. Is this ship on fire or is it in time? Oh yeah. Um, the ship in front of you, like closest to you, isn't on fire. That's the ship that seems to have. Um, it's not on fire for now. It's it's the ship that seems to have like um, avoided most of the carnage that blew up all the other other ships. So uh, yeah, so I would say swimming in this water is basically not an option um, between the oil and uh, or at least for a long time, right? Because yeah. there's burning oil and uh, just you know fire and smoke like all over um, there. It'd be very difficult. Or at least it's not as easy as as you you might think. That makes sense. Yeah. Maybe we can skirt along the the the, the line and, and get around through the rocks and go on the bridge. Yes. I don't think uh, we can avoid them. We should just kill them. Perhaps sneaking up on them and. Taking them out before they can do anything is the best option. We may try and sneak past, but they may spot us. If we strike first, at least we'll get a good go of it. <laughs> All right. I, I don't. At this point, I don't know how many other choices we have. <laughs> Agreed. So, what's the plan? Murders, I'm dead. Murders? You're gonna get close and try to murder these things? Yep. Uh, I think Tiny okay. just looks at Boshko and Cork. Go smash. Okay. Mm -hmm. Right. You want to see? So, like, yeah. you want you want to you want to make your way down the planks and just try to see if you can catch one of them by surprise, kind of kind of thing, like the closest one by surprise. Yeah. I think so. Yeah. Okay. Cool. Um, let's uh let's do a, a another stealth check then. And if you're able to succeed the stealth check, then you're able to get that surprise round on, and then we'll roll initiative, right? Or we'll roll initiative. Well, if you succeed the surprise check, we roll initiative. You get to act as though they're surprised, and then we do initiative, right? And then we just follow the rest of the initiative order. If I tend again, what's my rose? No rolling day. Boshko's doing pretty good. Uh, that's perception. No. Cork was okay. Oh, that should have been whispered oh. to me, but that's fine. Um... Okay. Uh, well, let's see here. The problem is that uh, Katie, not stealthy. Yeah, yeah, that's a problem. Right. Anyone surprised? No. <laughs> right. So I think we have that moment of um, you're all. So I think I think we should position ourselves pretty close to the um with the creature, right? But it's that last moment of like something happens that draw that uh Katie gets the attention of the monster. I mean, Finny probably trips over a bone. Oh yeah, something. like kind of getting off the stairs or something. Yeah, like hits yeah, something. She, yeah. yeah, let this be like my real life. Sure. <laughs> my ankle. <laughs> right. I'm in. Okay. Uh, then let's go ahead and do. Uh, let's do some initiative then. Grab the turn tracker. Get ready to rumble. <sighs> hey, look at that fourteen. Not totally useless. Um, oh, weird. I didn't add. I had the token selected. Maybe I didn't. I Let me try it again. Now I'm honor the honor the 18. I'm just gonna change, modify it. So, but add the token. Right, Bashko gets to go first. Um, unless Korok can do it. I'm rolling for Korok right now. No. Nice. Okay, so Finn uh, and Korok, uh, you can decide amongst 
uh, how you want to, how you, who wants to go uh, first in that turn order. But um, yeah, the these creatures are going to go after Bashko. Hmm. Um, yeah. I can't get close enough to them to attack this turn. Mm-hmm. Well, they definitely have spotted you, and they mm-hmm. um... actually, I have a thrown, I have a javelin. I can throw a javelin. Mm-hmm. Let's okay. do that. Uh, yeah, totally. So I can get 5, 10, 15, 20, 25, 30. Get like right there. No. Pick character, move character. Okay. And then it's 5, 10, 15, 20. It's 25 to them. That's um, within my range. A cursory glance across the smoke and fire, uh, and like mm-hmm. whatever left of the bodies around here as well. Um, it looks like there were two different um, groups of people meeting like like in terms of just like whatever kind of cloth and like kind of gang signs and stuff like that like there's clearly like it's showing detail it's not just one group here that happened it looks like there's there was several factions here and something went went real bad okay um obviously more wouldn't require investigating but we're busy yeah Uh, i'm gonna go ahead and uh I'm gonna go ahead and, and uh, use one of my rages and throw this javelin with with, with rage. <laughs> okay. Chuck it. With um. Rage. <clears throat> chuck it with rage. Mm-hmm. Uh, I believe that uh, 18 is gonna hit. Absolutely. If it doesn't, we need to run. <laughs> yeah, we need to go. <laughs> Six damage. Uh, it's piercing damage, right? Uh, piercing damage, yeah. I didn't put AC and HP in the bars of these things. I'm gonna hashtag pro TM. I know that right. feeling. Um, so you, how much damage did you do? You did six total. Six total. Okay. Um, your javelin hits the blubbering monstrosity, uh, but it does less damage than you think. Um, yeah, uh, it seems to be like they, they either like regenerate or, or there's some sort of like the mutations themselves kind of like where you stab it, it like just seems to kind of like grow back on top of it. I don't like it. Uh, no, it's not great. So this one, this one has, so this one here has a javelin sticking in front of you, right? Uh, this one has a javelin sticking out of you. Um, okay. Uh, so it's their turn. Uh, the one with the javelins is going to uh, scream at you. Um, just to give an idea, let's see if I can um, bring this picture. I might show you a token to everyone. You want to do that as a GM? To show a token mm-hmm. to players? Like one that was hidden on the GM layer? No. Uh, how do I? How do I? Yeah, I want. I want oh, to. Oh, make it big so you yeah, can show you, us the picture. I know. I know you can press Z. That brings it and makes it bigger to me, but I don't know how to. I don't know how to make that look like for everyone else. That's fine. Uh, I'm just zooming Finally, in really close here. I think here. you have to add it as an image and like. Yeah. It has to be oh, an yeah. image that you can like That's show fine. to us. I don't think you can right. do it as a token. Well, I'm just I, zooming I, in real close so we all can see it here. Uh, it's mm-hmm. a nasty pirate. It looks like it has a little like weird fish head growing on its shoulder, um, a couple like ancillary tentacles. They're also like blood covered as they've been gnawing on bones and uh, mm-hmm. stuff. Mm-hmm. So they're not great. Not great at all. Um, but yeah, so this one's going to charge you. And th- can this one charge you? Uh, I can just barely charge you. So. What? 60 feet. Uh, that's yeah. that's way too fast. It's way too fast. Get so, out. Um, First strike on you. These are like 28 days later, zombies, and I hate yeah, them. Yeah, thanks. Absolutely. Uh, okay. Uh, minutes, um, sorry. Yeah, it does. Um, oh wait, so it's the, the scimitar does. Uh, so it does six slashing damage with its. Uh, this one still has a scimitar, um, but sometimes okay. it might just be a bite, uh, a claw. Uh, okay. And then um, it tries to bite you as well, and but you're able to fend off the bite. I have resistance to slashing damage, so it's fine. Right, uh, but then the second one goes right. So let me do that. No! 23. <laughs> and no. 23. Uh, so the scimitar, scimitar hits you for 5. No. Or excuse me, sits for 6. 
Um, and the bite hits you for... Um, I think that number is off. No, it's not. Okay. Um, for half of a D8 is four plus one, so five. Make a con check for me, please. Okay. This is against dis uh, a disease, so if you have advantage or anything like that. Uh, no. Um, not a good thing disease. I prepared lesser restoration. I almost did. At least not yet. Uh, constitution, here we go. Okay, you are fine. <laughs> Uh, yeah, but you but you get of bit. Of course, you, I'm fine. You hurt pretty yeah, by these I'm, creatures. I I yell at them. Um, <laughs> you have also got the attention now of the third one up here, so that's going to be coming up next round. But right now, because of the fire and stuff like that, it was only these original two uh, showing up here. Uh, let me adjust the turn order. So Bashko has gone. Pirates have gone. Daquan, what do you do? It's um see here two attacking there um so yeah i'm gonna attack the one that has a spear sticking out of it um sure. the one that was the one that was a hit and i'm gonna outreach blast okay. i'm gonna put on some a little bit faster situation All right, uh, Audric Blast, um, you have, and you, remind me, because we're level four now, um, mm -hmm. you got the Spell Shaper, or, or Spell Sniper, right? I got Spell Slinger, which lets me pick a cantrip from a, a Spell um, class, and it, it lets me ignore half or three quarters co cover, so I can just shoot all day. Hell yeah, so no longer the, the plus two cover saves. Mm-hmm, so plus, plus my range is doubled as well. 18. Absolutely, it hits. Ha! Oh no, I'm I'm new to this spell. <laughs> I don't really know how it works. Were you? Here's a question: Were you? Were you hitting the close? Uh, let me let me get, add a color marker here. Were you hitting that blue one or the the top one? Uh, which, which one, one had a spear, spear in it? it? Oh yeah, the blue one. Yeah. Right, so um, you, I, I, one I'm gonna spend a sorcery point. I'm gonna spend a sorcery point to reroll that damage. Oh sure. For my meta meta magic. Go ahead. Roll a d10. Nine instead. Ooh, this and uh, your 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 force damage. That's a lot damage. better. Force damage, yeah. Yeah, your force damage um, seems to uh, ignore the the um, transmutation properties of these things. Uh, whatever whatever this mal shape and form, um, they're not immune to to that. Or or excuse me, uh, resistant, not immune. I said the wrong word. <laughs> it hits. Dear, dear God, don't happens. let them be immune, Eric. <laughs> I know, Jesus. So for, yeah, for We're level damage. four. Uh, yeah, so this thing, so you like literally like shoot off its head, right? So like it's like it's it's like one of the small heads. It's just like it's gone, and there's a huge like chunk missing from the like the side of the neck of this pirate here, and so his head's like crooked like this, and it just still fights tenaciously. Uh, what are these things? I hate undead creatures. Finn. That's my turn. <laughs> um, Finny is going to look at Korik and uh, step forward. Mm -hmm. About 10, we use 15 feet. And then I'm going to make sure that this works, that this will actually hit. Hold on, I'm going to measure. I'm not paying attention to anything. So this one right here, the one that's marked. Blue? Yeah. Yeah. Uh, that's the one that's taking damage, right? Absolutely. It's... I mean, um, I, I have no problem sharing with you. It has one HP. Oh, um, like it's it's like on the ropes. Yeah. Well, then I'll attack the other one. I can still sure. hit it. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Um, just because that one HP can be knocked out, I'm not gonna waste. A, I'm gonna do toll the dead. Okay. Um, so he has to make a wisdom save, and I think you just all of us begin hearing these like high-pitched screeching bells begin to ring as Finny looks at her um, journal and begins reading off a spell. Um, yeah, they have to make a wisdom save. What's Toll the Dead from? Is it from Xanathar's? Uh, Xanathar's, yeah. I have it. There it is. Future Missing Pass Wisdom Saving Throw. If it's missing, it takes necrotic damage. Got it. Okay. I wanted to make sure it wasn't a mind-affecting thing. Okay. Uh, awesome. So let's go. And, and it's a wisdom. 12. Wait, doesn't it have to have um, missing hit points to take that damage? No, if it's missing hit points, then the damage goes to a d12 instead of a d8. Oh, okay. That's it's a really good spell. spell. Yeah, that's a, yeah, that's a spell. good spell. Ah, he makes it though. So make nothing happens. 
He's just one of these bells. Quark. <laughs> who's who's Jaegering Quark today? Uh, Kelsey. Oh, yeah, yeah. All right. Um, mm, 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 mm. I double check what the uh, new beats he just took is. Um. You have access to work character sheet? Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Okay. Okay. I, I was just double checking what he could do. Sure. Because, uh, 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 no, it's too far. I want to go here. It's too far. Do you have any ranged um, or thrown weapons? Uh, he's got crossbow. Okay. Uh, and then he's gonna get closer. Put himself between um, those guys and Finny. Sure. Uh, actually, he'll come up here. So he's got a clean shot on this guy on the top. Um, you mean he's... I'm pinging at this one up here? No, 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 no. The one next to Bajko. Um, that's not clean. Uh, they're in oh, okay. melee. Oh, okay. Because they're because they're in melee, it's still yeah. not. Correct. Ah, oh, that's dumb. I'll mark it as red so we can denote the two. So if it's the same either way, uh, it is the same either way. Then I'll, uh, I'll this one it. up here that noticed you that's coming in next round is is obviously clear to shoot. I mean, sh all right, yeah, 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 yeah. Let's okay. do it. I've got yep. a crossbow. Yeah, that's a crit. That is a crit. Take 14. a take a bunch of damage. All right. Um, you shoot off this one uh, in a very mirrored setting. You also shoot off the head of this one, um, but it still <laughs> seems to lumber forward. Uh, the damage it just doesn't it doesn't seem to uh, it takes uh, far less damage, right? So it can it takes half damage from a piercing shot. Um, so fourteen minutes. Great. Seven. Right, but it hated that for sure. All right, All right Bajgo um, has pulled out his warhammer. Turn two. Yeah. Uh, I just remembered that my new type of frenzy, I could have actually made it all the way over to them instead of throwing a thing, but actually it's better if they're closer. So I did the right, made the right choice. Okay. Uh, I guess you are I've a berserker in, now. I am a berserker now. Berserker. Um, wow, wow, wow. Um, I am going to go ahead and uh, attack recklessly against both of these guys. Because uh, I have my regular attack and then also a bonus attack of my frenzy. Uh, I'm going to hit the blue one first. Sure. Absolutely. And then connects. That definitely connects, and I do at least one damage. Yep. Uh, and the other one, a 15. Um, it does. So the one uh, the one that goes down um, to zero uh, does not die. It comes back at one sort of <laughs> like a half work. Okay. And the other one can take. Um, and this is bludgeoning damage. I don't know if that makes a difference, sure. but fine. Uh, nope. Um, so and round damage down it does four. Okay. Yeah. Instead of instead it just of hits taking the out rubbery... blue, I've I've hit them both. Yes. Um. But you hit both of them for nine. No, 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 no. I, I hit the first one for any amount of damage, and then it comes back at one. Right. And then I hit the second one for nine. Okay. Because you can't hit the same... Can you hit the same target with your frenzy, or do you have to hit a separate, separate yeah, target? Yeah, I can. Okay, cool. Uh, Yeah, I can make a, uh, a weapon, a melee weapon attack as a bonus action on each one of my turns. Right. Um, well... It uh, doesn't... Yeah. The one at one does not care um, that it's that it's literally um, moments from death. It fights wildly. Uh, 20 and a 9 is probably the 20 hits. Uh, and that's its... Um, no, no, I'm sorry. Does not? Uh, That's a 20 and a 25. So I'm attacking recklessly. You have advantage against me. Oh. Crap. Oh. Well, that's, <laughs> not, that's not good at all. No, it's uh, not. It's not. But I'm going to be... I'm going to be honest. Yeah, thank you. Uh, cool. So then um, you're taking six damage from the scimitar, 
And then you're taking, uh, once again, uh, uh, 10 damage from the bite now this time. And I need another, um, every time it bites you, you take a DC, uh, it says 14, it should be 12. It should be a 12 constitution check. Okay, so, uh, sorry, I take, um, uh, from the scimitar, it was, uh, how much? Six. Scimitars are six, uh, D6 plus three. Okay, and, and then and the a bite, bite is a D8 plus, uh, plus one. So it's, I, I just do average damage for the game. Um, okay. So, so six and ten. Is it? Both of the slashing and piercing. But none okay. of them, this is not magical. Oh, uh, still home. bad. Still bad. I'm hurting, right. but I'm not. And, and then I need that con save from you. <laughs> Don't care. Two um, crits in a row. We've crit like three times now. And then this one. <laughs> up here. <laughs> Um, sees the frenzy. It gets sh it got shot by Korok, so it's just going to uh, double move to Korok as best it can. I think I can get there with a uh, direct line is about fifty, so going diagonal and stuff, it can probably reach Korok and probably uh, it should go this way. Um, Bajko could uh, it passes through this square because it does not think tactically at all. Oh yeah, uh, totally, definitely wrong, hitting it with my thing. warhammer. Totally. Well. They're not yes, hitting it, hitting it with my warhammer. Mm -hmm. That's correct. Uh, that is, uh, yeah, the twenty. If you recklessly attack, do you do all attacks? Does your actions also are they also? Um, uh, it, yeah, it they, they, they give that, it out the reckless. Uh, da, 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 da. I would, I would imagine it is. That's all. So I mean, it's 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 an obvious hit. Like you do fifteen um, points of damage to it. But if you wanted to, you know, fish for a crit, like you totally could during this turn. It's this. Okay, still, yeah, you're, you're right. This is still the turn. Okay. A turn is until right. your next turn, right? Yes. Uh, no, it's not crit, but it still hits for 15 damage. I'll take it. Sure. Yep, for 15. Um, so this one gets knocked down to uh, back to one because of the um, half orc thing, right? These I'm, I'm saying the half orc yeah. thing because I forget the name of it, but um, just for for fictional purposes, uh, these creatures aren't half orcs. Uh, it's just that they are tenacious and they you know they get knocked down and they get back up. Relentless, Relentless endurance. Relentless endurance. Called. Yeah, exactly. Um, they fight even when they should have died. But not like a zombie. Um, cool. Uh, take one. Um, let's see here. Yeah, I'm gonna... Uh... <laughs> I love it. Yeah, just give me all the noises. Um, yeah. I'm gonna hit the one next to Bashko, the blue one, and try and just like kill that one. Mm -hmm. mm -mm. Actually, hold on. Let me see here. Is it an area? Two areas. Um, yeah, so I'm gonna do. I see. I'm gonna. Uh, oh, shit. Sorry, I'm trying to get the. Um, thing. Yeah, so I'm gonna do Shatter. Uh, here, so it only hits these two. Okay. Um, and uh, they both need to give me. Um, let's see, what is the save? On this? I think it's Constitution, right? Yeah, I believe it is Constitution. I'm gonna just cast it so we can just see. Oh, it doesn't actually. Yeah, con uh, Constitution save. We'll take 15. Fun the damage. Uh, red and blue. Uh, blue fails. Uh, they take half. If they, they take so half they... if they succeed and it's thunder damage thunder damage yeah okay uh, red just, one... like clap my hands together red gets reduced to one and the blue one just evaporates it just ripples and just explodes uh and in fact it, it explodes uh literally um acid inside of it uh explodes uh and as it's exploding the the head uh of the body um literally like falls off of it and continues to snap and it tries to snap at uh, Bashko. Wait, isn't that the one that already lost its head? No, it, it it has two heads. It has a little tiny head on its shoulder that got completely oh. blown off, and then has a bigger head on it. Okay. And uh, gotcha. the bigger head uh, gets gets uh, separated off from the rippling and the explosion. Um, so two things happen. Um, there's going to be uh, anything within five feet takes uh, it needs a reflex save for acid damage, and the second thing <laughs> is that the head also makes one last bite attack. Okay. Uh, as an eighteen. Oh no! Oh no. no! So, um, you're going to take uh three acid damage. Okay. 
as as uh, well as a um, five points of piercing damage. Okay, so uh, the acid damage puts me to unconscious, or puts me to zero, which brings me to one. And then I take the five damage, which is only two damage, which is more than enough to put me down to zero. Yeah. Uh, Bajko falls. Okay, get knocked down to zero. No, my meat shit, I mean Bajko. <laughs> right? <laughs> right? Yeah, that crit was oh, it's bad. Correct. That's terrible. Oh, well, the roll's correct next anyway, so... Um, I got you, baby. Don't worry. I'm gonna <laughs> actually heal. <laughs> yeah, that was so. That was that was Daquan's turn. Um, mm -hmm. yeah. So that one got so the. Oh, oh, wait! I have advantage on dexterity saving throws. Danger sense. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Totally. Roll it again. Yeah. Ooh, hey, look at that. <clears throat> okay. Right, so, um, but the thing I think the problem is that I think it still does half damage. Oh, that's okay though. Because a ha half half of three is one. Yep, does one point of damage to you. And then half of five is two, which puts me at zero, which means I'm at one health and I did not die. Yes, but correct. I have I have used my um, relentless, relentless endurance. endurance. Yes, so. and and actually just before and my my turn ends, how high is this like ledge? Um, it's about uh twenty. Let's say that part is about twenty feet up. Okay, then. Um, so uh, think. So do you see how the ledge isn't like necessarily completely linear? Each part mm. of that is twenty feet. Okay. Right. So like, there's like a twenty foot little like upper bound part. There's another like twenty foot bound part, and there's like a sixty foot like kind of near the top, and then there's like an eighty foot level too. Right. Uh, okay. Because I, I was gonna like. Uh, yeah. It's possible to get on top of these rocks and stuff like that to like not get hit by these things for sure. Yeah, because um. As, as soon as I cast a spell uh, that's uh, one or higher in spell slot, I, I can fly uh, up 10 feet and move. Yeah. So, would I be able to, like, climb the rest of the way, like, start climbing the rest of the way? Uh, yeah, but I think climbing would be your action. Action, yeah. So I'm just, like, clinging on to it for now. Sure. Yeah. I'm, I'm cool with that. Uh, it's not like, you know, like, I'm not gonna make you do the acrobatics check to, like, balance. There's nothing, like, threatening you from, like, just holding on to a ledge right now. Right? Yeah. It's not, I don't think it's a, um, appropriate to, to challenge that so that's good yet yet i mean i i, I don't see I, you're you're fine let's just say it's fine uh, avalanche finny. um so finny is going to run right here beside Boshko. okay you're and still within the threatened things so there's no reaction continue give Boshko one of my healing potions okay um you should also and... note, um, real quick, just to note, the acid damage uh, hits, it splashes to the other one, but they, they, they seem to be immune to the, the acid effects of each other. And then I'm For going to purposes. attack uh, this one right here. Mm -hmm. With uh, a good old thorn whip that I got with my spell sniper. Yeah. 16. Uh, that's a hit. You should know their, um, their AC is 15. At this point, like you I did know, one you whole that. damage. Uh, that's yeah. fine. Not the damage crew. Um, it's it's dead. <gasps> Ooh. Um, so two yeah, things happen. I think happen. you just see these out of her. These this this long vine begins to appear. Yeah. That's like not green. It's blue, which is the color that uh, Finny wears, and it just begins to wrap out, and she just whips it out around this uh, creature's yeah. neck. Uh, but the bad news is that it still explodes, meaning Cork and, and Yufin both need to do the reflex saves. And cool. let's see which way the head explodes. Uh, let's see. Um, I'm going to say, I'm going to roll a d6. A 1 to 3 is Cork, and a uh, 4 plus is Finn. So it goes to Finn. And then is it... Oh, sorry. Uh, it's a 17. Yeah, that hits. Okay. Um, so con so save? Yep, con save for um for five points of damage. You're fine. <clears throat> Did um, I take any damage from the acid? I rolled a thirteen. Uh, ch -ch 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 -ch. um, yes, you take three. You take three points of damage. Okay, awesome. Yeah. Yeah, that's my that's my turn. Uh, okay. Uh, Korok needs to make the save, the dexterity save. Uh, he failed it. He got he got an eight. Oh, you did. I'm sorry. You, I, I, I missed that part. It was above. It was above uh, where I rolled. Cool. Yep, yep. And I took the three damage. Awesome. Uh, I think. Ben, is that your turn? Yeah, that's that. I'm, I'm good. Okay. 
Uh, Quark's turn. Quark, then Bashko. All right. Quark is going to come in and do what he wanted to do before, which is come here and then attack. Attack, 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 attack. Because he's got um, a da, 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 sweeping attack. When you hit a creature, it's been executed. Da, da, da. All right. Um, so we're attacking. They're both at one, right? Oh, no. Uh, there's one only one dead. left. Yeah. Oh, I only need one. Okay, the rest of well, them, yeah, the rest of them are, the acid around them is already, like, immediately drying into, like, a powder. Gross. There's nothing really left of them. All right. Uh, that totally hits. Yes, it does. Um, that knocks that out. That one's dead, too. Uh, same thing happens. Uh, let me see which one it goes after. The, as the head goes and attacks either Bashko or Quark. Um, one to three is Quark. Four to six is Bashko. Quark. Quark gets the last bite attack. Uh, then I need the saves from you. Uh, it's a 24, which hits Quark for five. Oh, no. And Quark needs to make the constitution saving throw as well. Okay. Uh, they both save for 14. Is that enough to take mm, half damage or no? No, it is not. We're one short. Oh, no. It's a no. 15. It's a 15 to, to not take the damage. No, uh, Boshko. Boshko passes right. out before he can drink the potion. Okay. Um, so Bashko passes out. And uh, Quark is fine for now. But and how much is that from the bite? I forget. Five. Piercing. That's a lot. Yeah. Okay. All right, mm -hmm. he takes it. Okay. Great. But then they're dead. Uh, the two um, other uh, ones that are licking uh, the blood up at the cove haven't noticed. Um, because the the sounds of the fire and water and combat is just it's been happening all the time, so it's it's totally. It sounds like that means that Vinny yeah. has a plenty of time to come and drop drop some healing on Bajko before we go deal with that. Yeah, what's going to be the plan? You, um, you have I'm a moment. What I'm saying over, is that you have a moment. I'm going over to Bajko and I'm casting. Uh, what down? You down? Uh, I'm going to cast uh, Spare the Dying. Sure. On Bajko, just yeah. grab his, his sweet little murder face and just go, wake up! Right. <laughs> um, oh, can I climb here? That way you can take your potion. Well, Bajko, can you I make mean, a wisdom save for me, please? Maybe. Because you were knocked unconscious here? Uh, Wisdom save. 14. Um, I think that's okay. Uh, yeah, you're okay. You I'm time. worried for a second there. Um. Okay. Let's see. Uh, and, and then, how? What? What's the? Uh, what do I heal with this? Uh, with this healing potion? Is it a D8? Healing potions are two D four plus two. Oh, two D four plus two. Thank you. Uh, something mm -hmm. like that. Can I climb up here? Yes, way? you can. Um, Seven. I'm there to that ledge. Thank you. Um, and one more time, you got a 14 on your wisdom saving throw. That's just enough. Correct. I don't know what I saved from, but I'm glad that I successfully <laughs> saved. <laughs> no, um, probably. You being, you being brought back from here. Yeah. Oh, from the brink. Yeah. In in uh, this in this area. I see. Uh, you were rolling against any sort of uh, madness. I gotcha. Yes. Okay. Um, um, yeah, so Dick one, you make it up there. Um, so there's here's the first problem. Um, it's probably been about a minute. Let's say let's say at least a minute's gone by, which means uh, Korak, uh Quark begins to take uh, the beginning effects of this disease. <gasps> Quark didn't pass the. You failed the Constitution thing. check. Oh yeah, I if did. I, oh, if I, I if I see Quark struggling, I'm just gonna run over to Quark and do the same thing that I did to Boshka. I'm gonna cast Lesser Restoration. Um, does that? Oh, it, it can cure a disease. Okay, perfect. Uh, Why I took it today? <laughs> yeah, that's a good one. Uh, good. Then Quark. Uh, then 
then I would say that you do that before it happens because uh, from Korok's bite mark, it immediately starts turning black. Like, that's not good, you know? <laughs> uh, so, yeah. Uh, yeah. I yeah, think like, it catches Finny's eye and she's like, oh, okay, no, 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 no. She just runs over and just says yeah. a prayer to Estus. Sure. And the, the, the blue, the, you just see that like sort of spark of magic take away that, that, uh, necrosis looking shit <laughs> totally um sure and good, it goes away good. um Korik, uh Korik's fever immediately subsides and they don't lose any intelligence perfect Oof. god i'm so glad i almost did not take that this morning <laughs> so um mm. what's the plan uh, um, can I see where Daquan is? Or is he just you're like, you're just, at like, like just spider gone. monkey up the up I'm like thing. I'm like waving to you and I am like you see me like uh wave to you and then I can do like the whole like two fingers to like eyes and then like two fingers up to where like the people are. Um and I'm and I'm just like you know, like what do you wanna do? Kind of like hands in the air. Like I don't shout at all. Like obviously like Visual direction. Keep attacking. Yes. Yes. Um, I think she's just like get the drop on them, and then is looks at Korg and Boshko and just like let's just sneak around and try to try to surprise them while while Daquan distracts them. Korg mumbles something about how great you are at sneaking. And then Thanks. We'll <laughs> so you're all, you're all are just gonna hide, like, and as as Daquan kind of tries tries to snipe these two. Yeah, I think it would make sense to like maybe sneak up behind this big rock here, let Daquan yeah, attack, yeah. and then we can join the fray. Totally. Yeah, if they Let's come after him, we can just yeah. pop out. Mm -hmm. yeah. Sure. All right. Because would would we need to roll stuff because they haven't noticed us yet? If yeah, we're just... no, um, not yet. Okay. Um, yeah, I think cool. Finny's going to just go up behind this rock and just, you know, peek um, out. I'm going to remove the initiative order, because we're going to do this out of initiative. Uh, so, Daquan, um, you have advantage uh, against whichever one you want to target here, because they're not really, like, dodging you. They're, like, literally just, both of them are on the ground on fours, like, just licking up all the blood and, like, the bones and stuff, and just, just chomping on everything around right now. They're not, they haven't noticed you at all. Bones. Yeah, yeah, I'm going to Tasty. attack um, the one on the left. Um, nearest to me. Uh, I'm gonna color, um, yeah, I'm going to color code him again so we have a, a reference point. Red and blue. Nice. Uh, yes, yeah, so I'm, I'm going to attack the red one. Um, and because I have Spouse Slinger, my, my uh, range is doubled. So I have 120 feet range on my Ray of Frost. And I'm going to attack with advantage as uh, I just take out a bit of water and like, shoot it towards them. I'm trying to figure out a 25. way to get everybody on screen the camera friends because this is a, a little bit of a distance thing and while also telling which one's red and which one's blue all right so everyone watching at home <laughs> the left one is red the right one is blue okay well, red blue daquan is down i do two cold damage to the red one to the one on the left and it needs to make me is it is it a save or is it does it just happen uh no, it, it just happens. So um, I, I shoot the, the cold water towards it, and it hits and it freezes um, like part of their leg, um, and, the, and the speed is reduced by 10 feet. Oh, to the awesome. Next cool. Yeah, so it takes the two points of damage. Um, yeah, then they, they both immediately like turn and like see where it's coming from and start running off as fast as they can like to the uh, closer to the beach. Um, until they can try to see it. Hey. Uh, so let's make sure I do the right. Well, they can make it about here. First one down here. And this one has half movement, right? Uh, no, so it's 10 feet off of their, their whole movement. Got so it. you think it's at 40 feet, right? So, so, it, so it drags itself this way. They don't, um, can you, let me make a perception check for them just to see if they can get an idea of where it came from because like they can uh both of them uh, this is the red one this is the blue one all right the blue one has a sense but the red one doesn't the blue one's like my foot and it's not like they, they're not talking to each other it's just mm. the blue one yeah the blue one has like it's, it's it's like leg from the thigh down is frozen so it's just like dragging itself along along to you it's like rah, 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 and the, the other red one's just like rah, looking around right uh so it's awesome 
Uh, Are you guys looking to make those noises and moves yeah, forever? Yeah. All the time. Um, they haven't noticed you, the party. They haven't noticed you at all. Um, the, the blue one, so far right now, once again, blue one has only noticed Daquan uh, up on a ledge. You don't even know if it can get up there. Right? So, yeah. um, uh, I would say it's back to you all. Right? Let's just, let's just do like group versus monster initiative for the time being right now. Sure. Right? So like you all can act and the monsters can act. You can act. Just do that. Because like they haven't really noticed you or anything. I'll attack the red one again with an just Blast. Red one? Sure. Seven damage, four. So it's like, ka Yeah. Hated that. I'm going to attack the blue one from behind. Um, Because, I, I, yeah, I'm good. Sure. Um, <laughs> This is not at advantage, though, because they are, uh, they are like, on the lookout for getting shot again. Uh, 19. 19 absolutely hits. They have the same AC as before. Uh, guiding Bolt. Uh, 14 radiant damage, and whoever hits it next has advantage. Hot damn. Nice. Um, that one, it gets knocked down to one because of the tenacious thing. So it's totally seared over uh, and, and glowing now. It's like, yeah! And uh, awesome. <laughs> good, good, good work. Uh, is anyone doing anything to the red one? Yeah, yeah. I think um, Corey's got his uh, crossbow out again. Sure. And is going to go ahead and uh, crossbow... The blue one or the Boop. red one? The, the red one. Sure. 17 will hit for three hole piercing damage. Okay. Um, it's pretty okay. Uh, yeah, yeah. Uh, Bajko is going to, he's recovered his javelin. He's going to go ahead and throw that one, that at the red one as well. Okay. I think you have like five javelins or whatever anyways. So, yep, it's a hit. I have a non-zero. No, oh, is the don't count the raid damage? I forgot to unclick that. No problem. So I'm, not, I'm not raging anymore. So nine max damage. Four. It's still up. Uh, cool. And then is Bashko doing anything? Oh, that was Bashko. Oh, it was. Sorry, it was running to work, and so. Or yeah, it... I I keep freak. I have to like manually switch between them. Yeah, totally. Uh, I know. To have it um, show the thing. Do you know about the shift double click to open character sheets and tokens? Uh, it doesn't matter because it's I, I have the character sheets open. Oh, I'm okay. rolling it from the right. character sheet. You still have to literally switch. No problem. But yeah, not not a problem at all. Okay. Um, so then it's back to them. Uh, this one immediately changes targets because it got hit. And it's going to try to run the rocks. Um, this one is no longer slowed, but I don't think it can get close enough to you. Can only get the yeah. Uh, so it's just gonna uh, rush ahead. It's just gonna dash at you. They're not particularly clever creatures, at all. In fact, they're literally not. They're just they're just kill machines. As soon as they see something, they kill it. Um, that's 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 the good takeaway right now is that these things are not smart at all. Uh, they just seem to have a dumb sense of if they they must kill whatever is alive. Must nice. Um, it's at this point, it's it's very clear. Just there, there's it's just brutality is their uh, only the only thing they know. Uh, Bashko cool. just nods. Um, so this one attacks Cork, right? Uh, this was the only the one of the the red pirate was the only one that could get close enough. Um, so it multi attacks. Oh uh, no! Or both of them. No. Um, those are good rolls. I don't like it. Um, cool. So the first one again is uh, that is six points of damage, and then five points of damage, and um, <sighs> Horik, uh needs to make another con save because they're no longer diseased. It's twelve, not fourteen, for the con. If you have inspiration, okay. Uh, that's rolled uh, over Bajko, but it's fine. It it was off a Quark sheet. I promise. I know. Uh, sometimes it does that, especially if it's between shared people. Um, 17 is... This, yeah, there's a drop down a 17, The D20 things. roll was a 17. It's fine. I, it, whatever else doesn't really matter to me. That's fine. Okay. If you just honor the roll. Uh, cool. Uh, but yes, otherwise that, you took the... Did you take the 11 points of damage total? I did. Okay. Cool. And then the blue one dashed. So my turn's over. What do you do, PCs? I'm going to... Because I... On this blue one, I'm just gonna go ahead and use. I get advantage to hit him because of guiding bolt. I'm gonna yeah. go ahead and use it, and I'm going to um, slash at him with my uh, sickle. I'm just gonna pull it out. Yeah. Nineteen. Sure. Absolutely. Nice. 
two slashing damage. Yep, you kill it. Um, it explodes into a set of acid on Bashko and you. Uh, reflex saves for me, please. And as uh, it dies... All right, I'm on Bashko for real this time. A six. Not enough. So both of you take Sorry. three points of acid damage. Oh, yeah, because of danger 13, sense. Which so is each still of you, not enough. Yeah, each of you takes three points of acid damage. And then um, the head is... Clo I'm going to say it's closest to Finny, so it's probably just going to hit you, Finny. As, That's as fair. The, it's the Once again, it seems good, like when, when these things die, they do stuff. Uh, so it makes a one with its reaction. It, it bites you. It gets you, Finny, on your foot. Uh, con for, save, right? Yep. Five points of damage and uh, con save. Okay. 17. Oh, yeah. Finny feels great. <laughs> yeah. So great. Um, all right. Um, Kurik, being smarter than Bajko, is going to push Bajko back. And then uh, smash the red one. Okay. Back roll. Uh, change to Korik. Yeah. Getting these uh, things away from you when they die is very important. <laughs> uh, 11 is not good enough. It's too late for that, Eric. 11, We're going yeah, all 11 in. 11 is not. Okay. Yeah. Uh, Bajko will frustratedly uh, throw a, a javelin at it. Even though that puts him at disadvantage, he's not, not very smart either. Not disadvantage, uh, just cover. Oh, it's just cover? Plus two, firing to melee. Oh, okay. Because you're not well, in melee. Bajko's not in melee themselves. Oh, okay. Right, 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 right. I keep and, getting backwards how that works. Doesn't matter. I missed. Okay. All right. Great. 16. Absolutely. Force um, damage. Oh, my God. That's enough, though. Because <laughs> uh, oh, it, got, it got knocked down to one before. Oh wait, no, this one did not. Forgive me. Uh this one goes back to one. Oh no. Goes back to one? Okay, I'm gonna yeah. The blue one, one got good. knocked down because that was the one I exactly. hit with all that fucking exactly. damage. Yeah, I got I got it mixed I got them mixed up. That was my bad. Um so this one's back to one. Because of the relentless endurance. Uh is that everybody? Yeah. Okay. Um pirate attacks. Okay. Um that's pretty filthy. Hold on a second. Oh, that's mm -hmm. because this... Okay, so when you roll 3D dice, both of the D20s that show up are the um, advantage dice for the scimitar strike, not both bite attacks. I'm like, this math doesn't work out at all. What's going on? Because <laughs> um, like the first number is an 18, but the other one shows a 9 when by the bite attack was rolled a 12. But that's what's going on when they showed up on screen. So uh, both of those, I think, hit, right? Against quirks? No, I, maybe the bite doesn't. Quark's AC is... Quark's uh, AC is... Uh, 16. Oh, shit. All right, both of them hit. Yeah. Uh, so 11 points of damage total. And then I need another con check. That's bad. That's real bad. Yeah. That's real, real bad. That's nope. bad. Okay. Uh, disease uh, again. Uh, ow. Yeah. Uh, cool. Your turn. Finny. Uh, <laughs> May I suggest Same something? Game. Sure. Thorn Whip can move creatures towards you. Toward me, yeah. So you could theoretically position yourself to hit it with a Thorn Whip, drag it away so it explodes away from your friends. I mean, I wasn't using Thorn Whip because... And it, is this a large creature? It has to be... No. It's medium. Then I, I don't think I can do it. Mm, oh, no, it's large or smaller. Sorry, I read that wrong. Yeah. I'm sorry. Yeah. Um, Something yeah. to consider. If you but move I, away I mean, and, yeah. and move it towards you 10 feet, it, it won't hit anyone. Right. I like, know. Moving moving away, kiting these things with ranged weapons, moving away, anything to like push them thing, these things away. Like every time you get them down to that one HP, like that should be the, the, the sign to be like, next turn, move it away. <laughs> get the uh, fuck cause, away. Because it, it's like a time bomb thing and they explode in acid. But but yeah, if you if you move far enough, if you move or, so yeah. that you're... Or just 15, take the bite attack and the, and the acid damage, whatever you want to do. One of those two things, you know, yeah. whichever. Yeah, you could totally shoot them from, yeah, like, Bitcoin has a great idea. Just just hang up on top of a cliff and just. <laughs> yeah. yeah, I'm gonna try to thorn whip him. I mean, it's just yeah. my attacks weren't that good. Yeah. I mean, all you have to do is hit. Eleven. It's not hit. Ah. Uh. Yeah. 
what should I move out to? 15, 20. Yeah, I'm just going to stay idea. where I am. That's a good idea. Uh, uh, Cork or Bashka? Cork is going to agree that this is a good idea and uh, go yeah. ahead and. Do you have a special maneuver that moves people? <sighs> no. Okay. I have a maneuver that. Um, for, yeah, okay. Nope, that's not going to work. Um, they can almost and, shout that he's got it if you want to run away. Yeah, if it's... Okay. It, just disengage. Sure, sure. <laughs> can Court not push? Yeah, can I'll just Court push um, him? You can always push people. Like, that's that's just like a special attack maneuver, which mm -hmm. is going to be a... Uh, I think it's a, just an athletics... Yeah, but or, it doesn't yeah, do any damage. One. Yeah, it, does, it does not do damage. But it shoves them away. Oh, yeah, no, I was saying you could just push him away. If Daquan's calling down, he's got it. Then Right, but if he's saying he's got him. it, I can just disengage. Yeah, totally. That's that's, that's that's fine too. Yeah, you back up, you back away, and it explodes. Uh, boop. <laughs> Never mind. Uh, wow. Love it. Daquan. Daquan, you said you had it. <laughs> all right, all right. Bashko is going to throw. I mean, Bashko, uh, you got it. <laughs> <laughs> Bashko throws a spear, a javelin, javelin, not yeah. spear technically, but whatever. No, oh my, my god. god. <laughs> Oh and no! Oh. I forgot to change them again. Oh no! You're trying so hard. Um, uh, well, the closest uh, the closest target is um, is Bashko, right? That's no, funny. Bashko, no. No, that's not true. Uh, it's between Cork and Bashko, so I'm gonna roll. Okay. Uh, low is Bashko, high is Cork, because both of those are both of you are ten feet away. That's funny. Goes to Cork. Um, let's see. Will it go? Yep, it will go. I mean, it, they take it the straight, mo the straightest, most most path to their target, uh -huh. ignoring whatever's in the way. Uh, but okay. by doing that, um, nobody's within um, reaction attack of opportunity range, so it just goes to work. Miss, 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 miss. Um, it's this one just it's uses its claws. Fifteen. That's a miss. And its bite is a fourteen. It's, all right, all right, all right. This is both all right. My boy's good. Okay. All right. <laughs> all right. Let's try this again. <laughs> this all is right. how we die. <laughs> all right. Burke is going to disengage again. Sure. Burp. I'm anyway. going to cast. Are you going to do an attack? No. I, I use my action to disengage. Yeah. Um. Then I'm going to uh, cast Sacred Flame at this. This uh, is pirate. Yeah. The pirate. Cool. So it makes a dex save. make right? a. Yeah, I have 12. Yeah, like a 20, watch. Nope. Five nope. radiant damage. It's, it goes Dead. down. Uh, this, time it, this time it explodes. Anything within five feet of it doesn't do anything. Anything within five feet, it could have a chance of an extra bite attack. So instead, we just see the head go... Tap, 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 tap. Right? You know, like, like a chomper from Mario Brothers before it just explodes again. The acid. Um, so this whole place just turns into acid, but everyone's okay. My shit. Good work. Looks like you're good enough. You're good for something after all, Finny. I cool. brought you back from the brink of death. I know that was totally Koric. Yeah. Uh, I healed him. <laughs> you did heal him. Koric's okay. disease. Does Koric? Oh, Do yeah, they announce like... that they're diseased again? Uh, yeah. Yeah, probably he makes a smarty remark and you're like, I healed you. And then he like looks down at his leg that is fest yeah. already starting to fester. And is like, uh, actually, can you heal me again? <laughs> you didn't do a good job the first time. Yeah. <laughs> She'll go over and cast a lesser restoration on court. Okay. Cool. They're going to go over to like the lowest point and start climbing down. Sure. There's no role to climb down. You just do it. Ha ha. You're not, you're not pressured, right? Um, so at this point, um, the beach is basically clear of enemies. Um, there's obviously a, there's a massive like 20 foot wide uh, cove entrance in front of you, about 50 feet up on the beach, the rocks. Uh, there's a little like old rope bridge going over a, a, a tide pool going to the the or south east easterly direction um but there's a bunch of like supplies and fire and and blood and bodies all scattered all over the beach and kind of getting washed in with the waves um so if there's a chance if you wanted to investigate and get an idea like you could do that now too yeah let's investigate yeah, yeah finny is going to she's going to start going through like any supplies that she sees see if there's anything useful to her see if you get some, some dollars yeah totally Oh, uh, he's not here, so it doesn't matter. Right. Eh? Um, and I was gonna, I was gonna say that uh, Kurt got like a plus one armor or something. Is he, does he put that on or something? Or I think he said he couldn't use it. I can't remember. But it was plus one hide armor. 
Yeah, there was a plus one hide armor from the ship. Yeah. Oh, also, um... You also have the... You, actually, also, you also have, uh, ex, What was it called? Ex, Exfidowix? Yeah. Exo, Exotrix? Uh, I, I, I gave you... Yeah, I, I gave you the... Uh, the, the dying cloak you, of the manta? Yeah. Who, the, who's, the, who's wearing cloak that? Cloak of the manta, way. You gave Finny yeah. Cloak of the Manta Ray? Yeah, so you can swim yeah, now. Yeah. Even oh, oh, yeah. Thank you. Oh, Finny, you weren't here last week. Yeah. I was not here last week. Oh, yeah. Week. Um, so, so you got a couple gifts destroying, uh, going through a salvaging operation of a ship. Um, mm. Going through the salvage operation of a floating ship um, that was clearly had some sort of... Str oh, um, you, would, you would know this as well. Um, it seemed to be a shrine to a god... Or, or some sort of thing um, has the name Amon Ebor. I'll write it in chat. I think it's this. I might have to look at my notes. Make sure it's spelled that way. Uh, you you don't you know that's what it said, but uh, your your role you don't really know what it means. You never okay. heard of that god before. Um, other than it's some sort of oh. like that's it's demonic in nature. Okay. Um. um. Yeah. So. We want to investigate. Did I get anything else besides the cloak? Besides the cloak, I'm just gonna note it down. Uh, the cloak uh, is oh yeah. The, the cloak has a name. Um, I just have to roll roll twenty to see the chat log for it. Uh, its name is uh ix. I think it's like Ixfidawix or something like that. It yeah. is literally a um. Think of like a like a stretched out octopus. Um, it's just like and it's just like slowly like kind of like doing that sort of like heartbeat pulsing on you. Uh, and it, it wraps around you, and it's Loves a cloak it. of the manta. Uh, so it lets you Loves swim. It. Um, it lets you swim. Um, and uh, if you if you want, uh, there's actually a good question. Here's a point. Um, you go in the water with it. Um, if she knows that she can, because cloak of the manta ray, yeah. I can I can breathe underwater. Yes. Uh, mm -hmm. Yeah, she'll pull the yeah. she'll pull the hood up and um, start going through the water because she's awesome. she's looking for like, also, any yeah. kind of magic items yeah. anything, anything in, like that yeah. in water um you get you like more attunement kind of happens with it uh you because it's like an octopus you have advantage on on stealth checks with it in water because it can like camouflage nice. with you As, if you let it but like the, what it looks like is like you get wrapped up by this octopus right and it just changes the color to the the water around you right as you swim nice. So it's a, it's like a like a skin suit, right? Like it like stretches mm -hmm. over you and forms like a skin suit rather than a cape. Um, yeah, but it's a it's a disgusting old weird biological cloak. It's not and it's Finny not sentient. Loves it. Um, it's it might be sentient, but it's not like it's not intelligent, right? Yeah. It's just a yeah, it was cloak. stroking my face before when I was holding it. Yeah. It was like giving me like weird strokes. It was kind of creepy. <laughs> yeah. It's about as intelligent as a, I mean, it's, it's like less intelligent than a slug, so. Yes. But it's it's alive, it's a living. Uh, yeah. So we're anyways we're investigating the the shore here. Um. So if you yeah. want, so I, I brought that up because if you wanted to swim in the water, and you could just kind of go under the waves, and you'd be kind, you probably would be fine. Um, yeah, I think I think she's going to. If you don't mind swimming in blood and gore and oil and stuff, it's probably fine. Finny's been in worse. <laughs> don't <laughs> <Shit>. question. <laughs> that. Okay. Sure. Um, do you just want to? Do you want to take as much time as you need searching the beach, or do you, is there is time of the essence here? What do you want to do? I mean, I I don't think that spending time in this bubble with all of this weird tentacle horror stuff going yeah, on is a good idea. I don't want to like prolong myself. Yeah, I don't. I don't think Finny is like searching hard. I think it's just a sure. cursory. Right. Like she'll go through a couple of things, eh, you know, yeah. and find any, She's not going to go out of her way to really search. Perfect. And I'm going to use my inspiration. I got 19 on the beach. Mm -hmm. Looking for stuff. Yeah. Uh, 23. I am nice. rolling right. them bodies. Okay. I'm not good at it, though. No, oh, okay. Oh, no, same that, same. Sorry, that, that was actually Bajko. I keep forgetting to change right. my thing. Um, uh, so. Burke yeah. is also looking around. Oh, they're both negative one. Great. Okay, so Bajko got the 17 and Burke got the 10. Okay. Um, so, uh, scattered along the beach, there are some, um, surviving items of value. There's a leather Ooh. sack full of sto of saffron. Ooh. Um, saffron, you know, Ooh. could be sold in Sassarine for a pretty penny. It's about 500 gold worth of saffron here. But obviously it needs to be court. It doesn't help you, pra like, practically right now. Uh, there's a crate of fine dishware. 
Uh, like, I imagine that's kind of like, you know, your fine, fine silver. Uh, and then as well as, uh, you, you find a case of potions of cure moderate wounds. Um, but the case Ooh. has been sort of, uh, fractured and broken, but you're able to extract three potions of cure moderate wounds out of this, which is, okay. um, the normal healing potion, the 44 plus four instead of the 2d2 okay. or 2d4 plus two. The, How many were there? The, the one above it. There's three. There's three in there. Uh, yeah, I give one to, I, I give two um, to, I give one each to Korik and, uh, Borjak because they're up front. Um, and then keep one for myself because I can't actually heal. Right. Um, I don't have a I don't have the the handout for you because I'm bad, but uh, Finny, there is something you find under here as well. Um, you find fragments of a black pearl that's been shattered. Mm. Um, it is. Uh, just make a wisdom check for me, please. This isn't bad. Uh, maybe like or like insight, just real quick. Okay. Nineteen. Um, you get the you get the strong sense that this might have been um, this is this is important to what happened around here. <coughs> like based on, especially uh, as you hold it, maybe like like you look at the fragments of it, it reminds you a little bit of the sun when you were dying in that place, uh, like the big huge like planet in the background, like that big loud sun. Like it ha it feels like it like it, it gives you that sort of flashback sense. You're like oh no, it's this thing. Like it's related. It's related to that sort of like upside down un other world. So it's, it's, I'm going like to come back out. This pearl is from there. Like it feels like that pearl is from that other world. I'm going to come back out and pull my head yeah. down. Uh, and can I can I uh, cast identify on it? Um. Yeah, but doesn't that require like some like money of something? I I have money. That's yeah, why but... I was gonna if it would work. I have a bag of gems. Would I be able to find a pearl in there? Oh yeah yeah yeah. Yeah, so I'm just gonna take out my because yeah. it takes a pearl and a feather, um, mm -hmm. and just for a quick, I'm gonna just cast it as a ritual so I don't use up my slot. Um, sure. Well, it takes an hour. Yeah, just ritual casting is, is an, hour. an hour. Yeah, that's fine. Or twenty minutes. I mean, if anyone, it's something like that. It's like, I it's like ten minutes. Ten minutes. I think okay, it's ten, ten minutes. minutes. Oh, sorry, yeah. forgive me. It's ten minutes. Um, yeah, I'll it's ten it, minutes. I'll get it right eventually. So are we taking um, a short rest then? Uh, that's plenty of time to do a short rest. Yeah. Yeah, I'm gonna, I'm gonna, I'm gonna roll well, some hit dice. You can short. I, I should be more clear. Back. You can short rest. Vinny is identical. Vinny's casting a spell. Yeah. Yeah. She, she's not short. Rest. Right. Right. Everyone else While not doing Finny's anything. Totally short spell, rest. Uh, uh, Bajko and Korik are gonna cop a squat and eat a sandwich. <laughs> Take a picnic. <laughs> Tentacle sandwich. Um. But yeah, I'm just gonna I'm gonna sit on the on like the bank of the uh, beach and uh, cast identify. Yeah. I'm also gonna take another cursory glance around just in case I missed anything on the beach while we're taking a short rest. Oh yeah. Um, okay. Uh, so you cast identify. Um, yeah. So um, now I need you to make a wisdom check for me. This is okay. against madness. Oh no! Twenty-one. Um, you steal yourself, as um, it's uh, you. You see uh, the pearl like in your mind's eye form together, and it's sort of like a black um, swirling orb, something similar to a palantir from Lord of the Rings, right? Um, but rather than like seeing inside and seeing other things, other pearls, you just see sort of like this like deathly skull visage inside of it and um you sort of like get the message of like this is this is what's called a shadow pearl um a shadow pearl um has been uh how much does identify give you it gives you how to use the item how if it's a magic item you learn its properties and how to use them whether it requires attunement how many charges it has i learn yeah. whether any spells are affecting it and what they are and i learn unless it's cursed spell. you do not learn if it's cursed yes yeah, you don't learn right. if it's cursed um it's not it's um bad. yeah it's not cursed it has no single um it doesn't have any charges but it has a single use um this is without a doubt the source of this of this place this is effectively a bomb a demonic bomb uh, it's unleashed. You know it is given birth uh, and given to you by a um, a demonic oyster that only grows uh, in one layer of the abyss. 
tasty. Um, I just don't remember the name of the layer of the abyss offhand. That's killing me. I'm very sorry. I mean, there's only seven of them, so it's fine. No, that's the hell. Oh, nine, nine layers of the abyss? There's seven, nine layers eight. of hell. Um, oh. Uh, oh, I remember what it's called now. It's called Gaping Maw. Mm. I love it. Um, um, yep. And so it's a, it's a, and you, you also know that, uh, this thing is, so it's, you know, it's not from this world, you know, it's from the other world. You also now know that the place that you are seeing in your visions is gaping maw. That's that weird under, um, upside down. It's, okay. the, it's the abyss. Um, furthermore, okay, um, um, you don't, you don't know anything else other than like who lives there or like what, what demonic entities and stuff do that. Um, but you also know that this is not the first time. A pearl like this has been um, unleashed on this on this world. This has happened don't, don't. thousands of years ago, um, and you get a a an, an image, a flash. Uh, there's a you go back to your your mind's eye returns to your time with Lavinia Vanderborn and her parents' notes, and that aisle that her parents were at comes to mind. The same shape in this identify spell. You make that connection. It's, it's somehow related to this. Cool, 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 cool. So um, I'm going to... But there's no, like, charge left in this or magic left. No, in it's, it's totally of. spent. These are just yeah, shards yeah. of the exploded bomb that caused this. Yes. So I think she's going to she's going to put the shards that she found in her bag, though, just to... She might yeah. be able to sell them or you study them or something like that. Yeah. Um, But um, she's going to look at Daquan because um, he's closest to her, I would imagine. Mm -hmm. Um, yeah. Have you ever heard of a shadow pearl? Have I? Uh, probably not. Not to my normal recollection. I think this is what destroyed Lavinia's parents. That the isle, it's what happened, it's what caused all this. Can it's from a demon. It? I mean, it's destroyed. She's like, holds up the shards. It's it's pretty destroyed. Mm. Know how to reverse it? I wouldn't know that, would I, Eric? Yeah. No. Um, you know, I think you would also know that it's this is this is tied to um, Aman Ibor, whatever that is. I think this has something to do with that that shrine, that shrine on that ship you found last session that's that's mm -hmm. this it's related to this that this is a shrine to, to that thing with our money bore we it this is not good no it isn't i agree we should find what we're looking for here and leave this Vanthus. place it's bad if Vanthus is yeah, if Vanthus is here, it does not bode well. Um, we need to get this over with as quick as possible. Yeah. Uh, besides some of the yeah, and besides these practical things around here, I should also note that there are cages here that are broken. Love Large it. cages, small cages. Mm. That all these bones are not human. There are. Larger bones, smaller bones, feathers, scales. Mm. Mm. So where we're going? In the cave? On the walk? I think we need to go into the cave. Just continue this journey and get it over with as quick as we possibly can. Okay. Indeed. So then we, we're going to cut to the sort of like more larger abstract map. Um, and to give you an idea, like this is like the ropeway into the, the caves over there. Okay. I think we're going straight ahead though, right? Yeah, I think so. Okay. Yeah. Into the caves. All right. Um, the caves branch going left or right. Should probably your vision, not 60, but 30. Oh, no. Oh, wait, no, you have dark vision, so that's fine. Uh, yeah. Um, well, well I should have... Bajko, yeah. Bajko and Korok do, at least. I can cast Dancing Lights. 
Okay. Which gives me gives me four um, lights to work with. Sure. Uh, I think we should go to the right, and that way, maybe we can find out where that bridge goes to. Mm -hmm. That makes sense. Um, you can definitely hear sounds of more chomping and chittering of of those um, savage pirates to the left, but not the direction you have to the right. Uh, to the right, you hear something else. Um, to the right, uh, you hear the sounds of dripping water and dozens of bolts of once fine brocaded silk hang from lines of rope stretched lengthwise across the ceiling of this chamber, making it difficult to accurately judge the size of this cavern. Um, so clearly, like, this is like a pirate smuggling hold, and um, you would know this, um, that this is a place where you would be drying silk that was um, wet, right, for sale. So that's what this place is doing. It's, it's, they're drying silk. It's a very large chamber, and it's covered in, in silk dangling down. It's hard to... All right, well, I, I changed my vote that we should probably go left if we hear, we hear chomping noises. Yeah. You don't hear any we creatures should... coming from the silk room, but you hear you hear the creatures chomping in the in the in the other passage, wherever that goes. I think I we should try and avoid those creatures. We kill them. We don't have to worry we... about them anymore. We don't know how many is in this cave. I'd rather avoid them and we can hear them if they're coming. It might be safer to just <clears throat> go the other way and avoid them for right now and see where this leads us to. Sometimes it's best the battles you don't fight. Bajko looks at Kurik and Kurik just nods. Yeah, I think Finny's gonna walk ahead into this this room. It's it's uh, this it's this way. The silk one? Yeah. Yeah. To yeah. the right. Yeah, she's gonna she's gonna follow after Quark. Yeah, I'm gonna stay in the middle. Of everyone. Then then Bajka will take the rear guard in that case. Okay. Uh, yeah. So you, you creep along the the oh, ones that are okay. doing stuff over in the the other room as you pass by. It looks like to be like a kitchen or like a mess, like a living area. Uh, and they seem to ignore you. Um, so you enter this room with this with these silks here. Um, the first thing that comes to mind in this room with these silks around, there's some like yellow pus, like drag, like being like like streaks of yellow pus uh, across some of these silks in different directions. Um, you get the sensation that um, whatever would let leave something kind of like a streak like that is not a person, even if they had a like a postural, they're bigger than you, like the size of a horse. Are these postures similar to what was on the pirates and the animals that yeah. we saw, though? Yeah, okay. something. Yep. Uh, it's, like, it reminds you a little bit of, like, the right, monkeys. Do I get the sense they're the yeah, same? Yeah, I it's a sense. A yeah, it gets a similar thing as the monkeys. Cool, yeah. cool, cool, cool. Yeah, there should be definitely a lump of fear in your throats saying something like this. There's always a lump of fear in Finny's throat. That's not <laughs> a lie. Scared. She's scared all the time. Mm -hmm. I'm just... Holding them off. It's like, uh... Um, is it all that's in this room or silk? So hanging up and being dry. There's nothing else that we can see. Uh, no. Like, do the do the do the pus streaks appear to be like going in a direction? Like we can see which way whatever this giant creature went and <laughs> maybe avoid it or find it. No, it's been it's it's whatever it is. It's around, um, or like it's mm -hmm. it's slunked off. Like it's been here. It's it's unclear. Uh, gotcha. Uh, do you want to do you want to look around? I mean, yeah, Finney's going to look around. Mm-hmm. All right. I'm just waiting for people to go into the room because I'm not going fast. So. I mean, sure. Finney's already walked in. Right. Death and stop, sir. Cool. Um, <laughs> Torek is like, no, wait for me. Give a um, give me I guess perception checks around. Right? Cool. Sixteen. Okay. 
Um... Not 20. Nice. 22. 22. I see everything. Ah, Pirate Cave, my natural environment. Mm -hmm. Stand by. I think I gave it the wrong. Yeah, Dick One knows what's up. Yeah. So exactly my old one. <laughs> <laughs> That is exactly what Daquan would say. I know, right? It reminds me, made smuggling hole. Ah, that was a day. I grabbed I, I the token I gave this thing is the wrong token, and so I have to look up the monster standby real quick. Oh no! So I, I see a monster. I mean, I, there, like, there's a chance I have to roll to see how it's hidden, right? But I don't want I don't know what its um its modifiers are until I. Look at it. So I mean, I got a natural doctor. 20. I think I see it. It's possible. It's very, very possible. <sighs> Unless it's like it's... invisible. And I'm like, uh. no, it's well, not Well, I mean, the, the thing is, did you remember to look up? <laughs> oh, yes. <laughs> I always look up. Memes. Uh, sorry, this is probably super riveting to watch. I mean, you have to have the right token, or my suspension of disbelief is just out the window. How will we know? My immersions. All five of them. <laughs> all, all 31 flavors of immersion. <laughs> <laughs> all right, here we go. This is this is what I was getting. Uh, Elijah, I just need to... Uh... Actually, sounds like an right token. That sounds like an invisible sun like dessert. <laughs> oh, absolutely. Six flavors of immersion. Oh, there we go. There we go. Forgive me. Yeah. I mean, I can't, Eric. You just ruined my whole immersion. Forgiveness is gone. Okay. So it got a 20, but you're so you're able to see it. Um, slurking, slinking and slurking its way um, on the western side of the walls is a huge, uh, terrifying velociraptor. Covered on its back, on its, down its spine, where ridges are just little wrangling purple tentacles. Uh, drips of yellow, uh, each of those where it's busting is coming from dripping this yellow slime. Um, its mouth, uh, roars, its claws are all long and bro- and, 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 el like, elongated. Uh, it's, it's, has three tongues that sort of, like, jut out of its mouth. Uh, it's just purple, and it looks exactly like what we're seeing on screen here. Uh, not to be trifled with. Do I get anything by seeing it? Oh. Um... <laughs> Yeah. Can I, like, uh, are you were you being were you being stealthy in here, or are you just looking around? It's uh, not like you no, were just you just came stealthy. in here looking around. Yeah. Yeah. So it sees you. You see it. I think it's just time to roll initiative. No. no she <laughs> <laughs> Why? Uh, all right. What the fuck is that God thing? Damn it. Yeah, it's bad. This thing's nasty. We should have fought the zombies. <laughs> I told you. You did. <laughs> but now Cora can demand a fight from me. <laughs> Cora can just fight me. <laughs> fight me now. This is an honorable foe, though. Don't know. <laughs> <laughs> it's like pushing Cora forward, like. Uh, uh. <laughs> Damn it, it got the jump on us. <laughs> Alright, uh, so it's gonna charge Cork. We're friends. I hold on my arms in friendship. Uh, it's, you're not friends. Just charge oh, no. this one like you did the other <laughs> thing. <laughs> Can I seduce it? So it makes a bite Obviously. and two claw attacks. Looks like probably both its claws attacks hit. Uh, yeah. Okay, 
Um, so it's doing um, six points of damage per attack. No! So 12 points of damage. Holy fuck! It's too much. It's too much. <laughs> it's a too much. <laughs> yeah, this is bad. Uh, wait, um, hold on a second. It missed with the bite, though, right? Yep, it missed with the bite. But both claws hit. It attacks, yeah, but it close, missed right? it attacks three times. Bite, yes, it did. Which means I can still repost. Yes, you can. Okay. Um, uh, yeah, I have no problem. Yeah, I have no problem like rolling and then being like, hold on, I want to block that one, and like just for in terms of speed and like you know going just rewinding a couple. Half well, a second I mean, the repost is I, I, no problem a, I just yeah. get a free attack on you. Yes, so. you do. You spend your reaction to do it though. Uh, yeah, I spend my reaction. I get a free attack on you. Uh, I get a twenty. Um, plus slashing plus what's my superiority die? D eight. It's D eight. Okay. Haha, you missed. You fired into my trap. Hey! Ooh, nice. Oh, nice. Um, nice. what? Does, does the superiority damage just do damage the same damage on top of the weapon? Uh, yes. yes. So it's still slashing. Okay, so it, um, so you do, uh, half damage to it. I mean, that's better than no damage. Yep. Uh, it Ooh. rears up. Um, you slash into it, um, part, it should have been a savage blow, but, uh, it was ineffective, ineffectual, ineffective. Okay. Alright, uh, now it's your actual turn, Korik. Korik's actual turn, um, um. Yeah. Um. Yeah. Okay. Uh, I want to use a distracting strike. Sure. Um. Just I'm blow through all these superiority dice. It's fine. Uh. It's a good time to use it. Yeah. Uh, this creature's and... really bad. Like you, uh, I, I haven't really described it enough. Maybe, but, you know, it's like it's like a, a horse-sized velociraptor covered in tendrils. This thing is really bad. This is this is a very dangerous fight. Um, as a uh, as a warrior, you would know like sizing wait, up a foe. Yeah. Can can I use my inspiration here? Because that that's a good idea. Yeah. I uh, still can't hit. For sh- uh, you rolled uh, three seven on those dice. Yeah, not great. Yeah, that's more 12. bad. Not, not great at all. Uh, well, I guess I'm not going to be using. Uh, Uh, great. No, that's great. Finn's turn. <sighs> I'm going to cast Guiding Bolt. Good call. Yep. Um, keep in mind, based on how tricky this thing is, and while it's large, uh, you can tell that it's kind of dexterous. Like, it's, like it's, it's, um, it's a fast hunter. But you know, these things are are savage, so uh, their their brains are very small. They're just 16 going to, to hit. Uh, Sixteen does not hit. <sighs> no. <laughs> um. Bye bye spell slot. Um. Then I'm going to. Do you? How do you do healing potions? Is it bonus action to take one for yourself? For you? Uh, no, it's an action. Action, okay. Um, then yeah, I'm going to move behind whatever silk yeah, is. Yeah, there's, yeah, here. you could totally do that, and it counts as, uh, soft cover. Yeah. yeah, I'm gonna do that, and that's my, that's my turn. Yeah. Take one. Muted. How high are these silk things? Um, they're pretty high, like 20, they're like 20, 30 feet long bolts of silk, maybe even longer. Some of them are, are stashed against a wall. Some of them, most of them are dangling down. So like, if you could like shoot them down, you could totally like make it land on these, this thing. And like, you know, it gets trapped under a blanket. If that's what you're thinking, for sure. There's a chance mm. you, you fall under the, the silk too, right? Cause it's just these huge bolts of silk. But, um. Are they like... Are they like done in a way where it's like almost like a, like a like a divot in the middle where I could like maybe like stand on one? Does yeah. it look sturdy enough for that? Yeah, you could stand on uh, like an, a smaller drying rack to do it. Yeah. 
Okay. Okay, yeah, so I'm going to move down here. Okay. Um, and then I'm going to cast uh, Witch Bolt. Um, so I'm just going to just like throw some water in the air and just like quickly like um, throw it towards this thing and electrify it. Um, also cast me up 10 feet. Um, and I'm going to try and like cast the Witch Bolt and like climb onto this thing at the same time. So I'm like off the ground away from this thing. Okay. Uh, boop. 22. It's. And that's nine lightning damage. And as long as I can see it and hold concentration, uh, I can just continuously do the damage without having to do any kind of like attack roll. Nice. It's a line of sight. So yeah. I'm gonna like try and get up on this one um, here. And I'm just gonna like attack it. Well, however high, high up I am, like 10 or 20 feet or whatever. Mm -hmm. That's Perfect. my turn. All right, Bajko. Uh, Bajko is going to go ahead and uh, move to here. Um, yeah, I'm going to go ahead and use my second rage um, using my, my uh, 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 frenzy, um, which means I can then move and then make a bonus attack to make an attack against this guy. My Warhammer comes out, and I go smashy, smashy. That's a hit. Yes, and I have my rage damage again. Rage and... 13. Yeah. It's halved. 13, oh, yes. Yeah, Gross. It's, it's close to half health. Uh, so that was Bajka, right? Mm-hmm. Mm -hmm. okay. um, then it's new top of the order again. Uh, this thing is fighting ferociously. Uh, let's see who we would target. Uh, high is uh, Korok, low is Bajko. Uh, so high is Korok, so it targets Korok. Oh good, Korok has a much better AC. Uh, 22, 12, 18, uh, so probably two of them hit. Yeah, the claw misses <clears throat> the fight and the second claw hit. Uh, I need a con saving throw from for the bite attack as well. Um, okay. But that will do um, so 12 points of damage and con saving throw. Okay, so you are diseased again. Uh, Korik. Um... <laughs> Kor Korik that, is, is a disease is, magnet. <laughs> no, he is. He is. Um, how is that divided up? How much damage is in the bite? Uh, it's six apiece. Okay. Uh, okay, so here's what I want to do. Okay. Uh, I, I take the bite, which puts me down to zero, which brings me back up to one because I'm a half orc. Then I'm going to repost the claw that misses, and then I take the second hit and I go down. Okay. Um, so unless, unless I manage to kill it with this hit, which I think is impossible. Uh, but you never know. It could happen. Uh, geez, great. No. Fantastic. It's not it's not happening. No, really, it really doesn't. Um Okay, so then you go down. Uh down. Yep. Okay. Uh, Boshko Finn. roars. Uh Finn take one Boshko. I'm going to stay here and take a healing potion. It's 2d, 4 plus 2? Yep. Okay. And you heal for 5. And that's where I'm going to stay. Right. Daquan. You have chromatic okay. orb on it. Uh, no, it's a uh, witch bolt. Witch bolt, sorry, um, witch bolt, yeah. And, uh, yeah, so I see it, and it just takes another... Uh, where... It's like d10 or d12, right? It's a D12. I'm trying to see the right one. Is that a bonus action to do? It's my action, sorry. Oh, it's an action to maintain the spell, to, 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 to do the damage? Mm -hmm. Yeah, to do it. To do okay. it. So it does... Uh, I cast Orchomantic Orb because it was basically... Um, it's the same uh, ranged the spell same attack. Same. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I know. Yeah. Okay. I would do the same thing. That's cool. Nice, yeah. Uh, yeah, I'm trying to see the, the damage of it, sorry. Actually, you know what? No, I actually hit the wrong one. So I actually do expel the chromatic orb and do from the damage um, instead of doing a lightning bolt because I just realized I fucked that up. So I'm going to do this instead. 
I fucked up the realm. So I'm gonna have to do a spell attack, which I'm now I'm just gonna cast chromatic orb. And not do the damage for it because it's the same spell attack. But I miss. You roll a one. Mm. Bummer. Okay. Expanding that. Yeah, I rolled the wrong one last time. I don't, don't want to take it back because it was a lot of damage. So it's fine. Mm -hmm. Okay. Um. No, I thought you cast Witch Bolt last turn, but you used Chromatic Orb. No, 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 yeah, I used Chromatic Orb, but I said I was using Witch Bolt, but I actually did the damage for Chromatic Orb, which was 9. So instead of me retcon retconning it and saying it was that, oh, I'm just going to say that it was Chromatic damage. Orb instead. Yeah. Gotcha. Okay, so. thanks for clarifying that. Okay. That's okay. No problem. Sorry you missed. Bashko. Yes. Uh, Bashko, upset that his dear friend has been, uh, has been hurt, is going to... Um, uh, call upon Farthus as he uh, takes revenge for Korik. Uh, in the name of Farthus, I shall punish you for all you've done to my friend! And we're gonna attack. And yeah, attack advantage. again. Okay. This is two separate attacks. I'm not, uh, I'm just, I'm holding oh, that in my back yeah. pocket. Understood. Okay. Uh, yeah. Uh, it's not. It's not reckless. That's not advantage. That's two separate attacks. Oh, I'm sorry. This is um, uh, frenzy. Frenzy. It's called frenzy attack, isn't it? Yes. Is the term? It's called frenzy. Frenzy oh, attack. Thank yes. You. Uh, but only one of them hits. Am I right? Uh, correct. Okay. Uh, it's ten damage. So it takes half. All right. Uh, it's my turn. Um, higher. Um, pork is down, right? Yes. Okay, um, so then it's going to attack you, Bashko. It doesn't have to choose. Uh, I'm probably going to die. Uh, uh, bite misses. Two claws hit, but the bite does not. Good. Uh, so Good. 12, uh, 12 damage, 12 slashing. So it gets reduced because you're raging. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. So I only take, I only take six. Uh, Quark needs a death saving throw. Uh, correct. Oh, I was still on Korg. I forgot to change it, so I won't bother changing it back. Death save. Oh, no! That's two. That's two death no. saves on Korg. No! Because you rolled one. Uh, no. Uh, it's Finn's turn, though. Well, hopefully she can save Finn, you... <laughs> Thanks, you I hate this. I you mean, should probably save Quark. I can save Quark, but I'm going to put myself in danger. Yeah. That's uh, probably worth it. Yeah, I'm going to go. <laughs> you are a, you are a cleric. <laughs> I'm going to go to Quark. And I'm going to cast Cure Wounds. Okay. At second level. This is my last second level spell. All right. So nine points of damage. Or uh, healing, heal, sorry. Heal, yeah. Okay, they heal for nine. They're no longer on death's door. Not nine, nine points of damage. No! <laughs> no! They <laughs> go from being almost dead to being dead. Quark, I mean, it, can, would, yeah. it would be Finny who oh. hurts you while trying to heal you. <laughs> <laughs> All uh, right. Yeah. He's uh, back from being dead to having nine hit points. Uh, how much should I use to get over there? Hold on just a minute. Um, if, if Quark survives this whole thing, they're definitely going to need to make a saving throw against Madness for going down. So Especially I'm going to use the rest. Going down. I'm mm. going to use the rest of my movement. Yeah. To get back, like Away. behind, uh, yeah, yeah, behind this this silky thingy. Sure. I Absolutely. don't blame you. Yeah. At I all. just heal him and then run. <laughs> yeah. Mm -hmm. Seems right. That's my turn. Seems good. Okay. Daquan. Oh man, I'm so torn. I have so few spells left. Um. I need to save them for further in the cave. Um, I'm just gonna do like an average blast at it. Boop. 18. That's what you need. You know the thing. This thing's uh, armor class is 18. Okay. I'm gonna spend a sorcery point to reroll that damage. Okay. Get a five. Five. All right. All right. Uh, force damage is pure damage to it. It's not resistant. Um, it's it's clear at this point that uh, anything that's been touched by these uh, 
uh, by, th by this Shadow Pearl explosion, um, they have resistance to non-magical attacks. Yeah, that's my turn. There's no, like... I mean... There's no, like, intelligence or, like, wisdom, like, insight at this point fighting these things. Like, you... you it, it's clear that magic is, is the answer. Not like... Uh, magical weapons not, would work, too. Not like we have any magical weapons to use? No. Okay, so so if, if Kurik, uh takes off his armor and just starts bashing it with it, will that deal more damage than half damage with his longsword? <laughs> um, you would be doing improvised damage, which is 1d4 plus your strength, and it's magical, so I would count it as yes. But I, I think actually but 2d6 But you, you have to get out of your three. armor, which is not going to... No. You don't have enough time to get out of your armor. It's like a minute or I'm, something. I'm being 100% Technically, well, technically it would work. Technically, you would be doing pure uh, non non resistant damage to it, but uh, not more damage. No. I don't think. Correct. I don't think. Uh, because no, yeah, if... minimum damage with the great sword. No, it's not. It's not worth it. Not worth it. Mm -hmm. Okay. Um. Boshko, Boshko, Boshko. Uh. Boshko. Cork is prone for the right now. All right. Uh, Bashko doesn't know how to not die. Um, Big mood. <laughs> uh, so he's going to attack. Um, we'll go ahead and use inspiration on uh, the first one. Right. Ah! Hit. And then uh, second attack is just regular. Miss. Okay. Do your damage. Six. Uh, okay. So it does half damage. Uh, it's it's getting down there. It's getting hurt. Um, okay. It's definitely bloodied. Uh, it's dropping just goblets and goblets of the uh, uh, globules of that yellow pus. Um, uh. It, it's burning when it hits the ground. Yeah, if if uh, if Boshko's, uh intelligence was at least a ten, then uh, he may back up here, taking a risky of an attack of opportunity rather than all of the damage when this thing uh, explodes. Right. But he's not that smart. Uh, mm -hmm. So, all right, it's back to it's back to this creature's turn. Um, it is uh, Quark's alive again, so it sees it as a threat. Um, so high is uh, Bajko, or low is Bajko, high is Korik. All right, so remember the D6. All right, um, so low is Bajko. Uh, so it targets Bajko. That's good, because you don't probably, okay. if Korik got hit with those uh, attacks at advantage, because they're prone, it would've been real, real bad. Uh, cool, so. Uh, not like oh. it's much better here. Okay, okay. Miss, hit, hit. Uh, Bosch goes down. Okay. Because he's already used his uh, uh, relentless. Board. Yeah. Yeah. Mm -hmm. But he doesn't go down until the second claw strike. So. Oh, okay. All right. Yeah, that would have been uh, six. I guess a total of six points of damage to you. I only had five hit points left. Okay. Okay. Uh, Finn. Hey, Eric, I'm stressed out. Can you calm down, please? Just calm sure. down a little bit. <laughs> calm down. <laughs> can, can, you, uh, can you channel divinity for healing? Is that a thing you can do? No. Oh. I right. only have the one where it gives me proficiency in something for 10 minutes and then turn undead. Ah, uh, okay. Understood. Um, I'm going to run up to Boshko. God, I hate this so much. Yeah. I don't, I can't, I'm not zoomed in enough, so I'm not, I don't want to end, I'm not going to end my turn in a square. If I am, it's an accident, sorry. Okay. <laughs> um, and I'm going to cast uh, Spur the Dying. Drive by healing. Drive, Drive by, by healing. The, uh, cool, so they go to zero hit points and they're stable. And I'm going to go back. This is literally Finny d ducking in and out. Yeah. Trying to... Not today. <laughs> I'm Heroes my never best die. Mercy life, right? <laughs> yeah, no. <laughs> Heroes never die. Uh, I mean, this you're is at what zero. I do in Overwatch. You're at zero, so you're just unconscious. You don't actually do anything. Right? No, but at least you don't have to make a death save. Correct. True. Unless you get hit again. <laughs> uh, take ah. one. It's not great. Your line, uh, your front line is down. Um, 
Um, is the one that I have Rev Enfeeblement or Feeble Mind? A oh, Ray of Enfeeblement. It's absolutely not okay. Feeble Mind. I wanted to make sure. Yeah. Um, so yeah, I'm going for to take out the one. For what it's worth, uh, this thing is basically already Feeble Minded. <laughs> <laughs> I mean... Uh, but yeah, I, I, I'm going to take out the wand. Uh, it's yeah. like a bone skeletal wand spin between my hands and just uh, cast Ray of Enfeeblement uh, towards it. Uh, so Black Beam of uh, blah, blah, blah. blah. Make a ranged spell attack on a hit the target deals only half damage with weapons that use strength. Yep, all its, all its attacks use strength. Yep. Uh, so I need to do... I'm just going to use the uh, uh, chromatic orb for it. Totally. Uh, not enough. You miss. Damn it. Spend a charge of the rond and it, uh, you miss. How many charges does it have? I don't think you tell me. Um, at this point, it should have recharged to six. Okay, six. You, would, and you know it it's at full because it's the first time you've used it. And it recharges it every morning? Yeah, something like that. Okay, cool. Oh, uh, you know, you're you're attuned to it, so you would know. It recharges yeah. every new moon. Every new moon, okay, cool. Um but it needs the darkness. <laughs> it's the stake one. Um yeah, uh, I can't use my uh, can I use my inspiration for it again. <laughs> <laughs> Day <Daquan. laughs> Uh Give yourself inspiration, actually, for that. You just slid um, that joke in there. You just fucking slid that joke in there, buddy. I hate it. I'm choosing to ignore it. Uh, no, um, that was, no, you absolutely get. That's if you. Odds are, if you make it. me really, really laugh like that, you can get inspiration. Um, I love it. All right. Um, so I was just inspired all the time then. Um, but um. <laughs> Can I use inspiration to roll again? Because I didn't roll twice to no, show it. No, you have to declare inspiration. Okay. okay, cool. Then, yeah, that's what I do. I miss. Okay. Bajko. Um, you're at zero. Uh, but I'm stable. You are stable. Um, what does that mean? You're just unconscious. Yeah, I'm just laying right. there. Like, cool. Uh, creature's turn. Um, Korik, you're, you're prone, basically, like, crawling right now. I, it doesn't really see you as a threat, so it's going to pass Did over Korik. Did get his turn last time from after he got healed? No, Quirk should have gone. Quirk definitely should have gone, gotten up. Yeah, yeah, I think we skipped over him. We might have skipped over. Uh, forgive us, yeah. So forgive he gets to stand up. Quirk. Yeah, totally. And he gets to attack with the longsword. Because mm -hmm. this would have happened before Bajka went down. True, okay. That's fine. Not like uh, a hit or anything. No. Roll twenty is a fickle god to you today. Okay, so now, now it's attacking me. Uh, uh, does Quark move at all? Uh, yes, because Quark is actually somewhat smart. Uh, so he's gonna back up, um, and hope that it's just gonna ignore Bajko's body. Um. They seem to. They seem to just attack things that are, like, threats. Like, it wants to... It, like, needs to fight. It doesn't, like, necessarily... It wants to kill, but it really just wants to... Th it's anything moving is really what it wants to kill. Right? So, anything yeah, really yeah. Alive. Yeah, Quirk, like, slashes at it and then backs up real more, fast. More vivacious its targets, the better. Uh, so, it's going to... Uh, let's see here. And he, he, he does, you know, like, sword on shield, come at me, bra. Mm-hmm. <laughs> Um, all right, your tech quirk is technically closer, so yeah, uh, it's exactly. going to go after quirk. It just steps over Boshko, like blah, boom, boom. Boshko gets covered in slime. Gross. And um, all right, multi attack. Um, only the bite hits. Only bite hits. So uh, six damage. Um, and, um, you're already diseased, so you have to make a con save. Great! Oh, boy! Ah, ah, but I still have superiority dice left, and I hate this thing, so I'm gonna count, I'm gonna, uh, spend one to <clears throat> repost here. Okay. 17. Yes. Uh, no, sorry, it's an 18. It's AC is 18. No! Yeah. Not great. Well, um, but it, it is your turn. Mark. Uh, good. Um, 
Yeah, let's see here. It's fine. Everything's fine. Uh, ha, yeah, well, let's uh, let's go ahead and attack it with the great sword. That a hit. does hit. That connects. Three. Six slashing. Uh, and I'm gonna. Uh, mm -hmm. I'm gonna go ahead and use um, distracting strike, spending a superiority die to add the um, d8 damage, and also give uh, advantage to the next person that attacks it. Um, which uh, other than me, uh, but three more damage on top of that, so it's nine. Uh, because I specify other than me because I'm also going to spend my action surge here to attack again. Okay. Hit. And that's 18. That'll hit. Next. For six more damage. Why do I keep rolling so poorly? I don't know. Gosh, it's dang in sing it. It's in the single hit points. Uh, uh, I'm going to get around the corner. <laughs> uh, so you're going to take an attack of opportunity. No, that's fine. One attack of opportunity is way better than uh, acid and a miss with a nine. A bite. So yeah, totally good. Perfect. Uh, Finn. Kelsey, you said the next person who attacks it has advantage. Correct. Okay. Um, what's the distant one? Thirty feet. Okay, I'm gonna move within. Within 30 feet. Yeah, that's be... within. Yeah, totally. Yeah. Yeah, um, I'm going to cast Thorn Whip. Just still doesn't fucking hit. Uh, 15 does not hit. Uh, even yeah. with advantage. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, I know. I hate it. Um, uh, the, the thorny vines just, like, wrap around it, and then it just, like, the acid just eats it away. Yeah, that that's my turn. All right. Uh, take one. Why are you right next to it? I moved... You don't Why have to move next to it to hit it with it? Thorn Whip. It's 30 feet. I yeah. just wanted to be within 30 feet. You were within yeah, 30, 30 feet. Yeah, 30 feet is... From you to it, right? Was it? Yeah, so yeah, like back yeah. to... Yeah, like if zoom. you were where you were... Zoom this map in. Yeah. Sorry, yeah. I know I know the roll 20 is probably being slow and stuff. But it's, um... Yeah, you were you were, you were like 10 feet away from it. No, the, the, it, the, the squares are counting wrong. Oh. Um, oh, that's because uh, I have it on half grid size, and so they're doing two and a half, but each of those should be five. That's my bad. Um, Even moving, though, I'd still have enough movement to get back where I was, so, it's, I mean, it doesn't, it's fine. Okay. Yeah. So, I'm just, I mean, I'm gonna hide again. Uh, there we go. Now it's 15. Now it's right. The grid. There each, we go. Each square grid is 10 feet of movement, but I have it at half size, so each one's five. There we go. Sorry about that. I had to do this dumb stuff to, to scale the map because the map's at one square is ten is ten feet instead of five, and so I had to be no. I I I, I, I gotcha. I'm doing my best. All right, I'm doing my best. <laughs> that that's still my even with using that to get up to him. I mean, I, I'm fine. So yeah, yeah I, I'm back, back hiding. I'm good. Big one. Muted. I'm gonna use my um inspiration that I got for the awesome joke and I'm gonna yep. attack it with that. With what? Eldritch Blast? Eldritch Blast! Yeah. Joke attack! And that's a hit. <laughs> Damage. Five damage. Okay. It's still up. It's super sluggish and, and, and but it's still fighting tenaciously. Ajko is unconscious. Uh, now it's this thing's turn. Um, here's an interesting conundrum. I don't think you can see Korok, because Korok has ran away underneath some of the, the cloth, like, based on the map, right? Yeah. It makes sense that it couldn't see. So now it's torn. It looks left, it sees Finian. It looks right, it sees Daquan. I'm Daquan off is... on, on top of the... Um... Yeah, it doesn't care about yeah, hypotenuse that, angles. That puts you, that puts you at no, uh, I'm just you eye know. level with it instead <laughs> yeah. of... Uh, yeah, it doesn't care about... Down. Yeah, it, do, it doesn't care about hypotenuse root, root two distance of squares. It's gonna... Um, so <laughs> I'm going to say that because of its, its um, tenacity, it's going to choose between you two. 
rather like it can't measure the difference between someone high up looking down at it compared to Finn who's trying to like hide on the other side of some some bolt uh, angle because it's advanced closer. It's close it's enough that it's it's just going to it might it might have to move an extra five feet. It doesn't care, right? Um, it's just going to roll. Um, hold on, uh, scratch that roll. I never said who was low and who was high. Uh, do you, do you two want to choose between each other? Who's who, which one's which? It can go after me. I don't mind. Okay, so Daquan is low. <laughs> Uh, Daquan is low, as Finn is high. I'm re- so ignore that previous uh, roll of the d6. This is this is the one that matters. Daquan is low, Finian is high. Daquan is low, so it goes after. All right, him. there you go. Nice. Can it reach me from this height? Uh, I mean, it ha- it probably. Are you you're like ten feet up, right? Uh, feels like twenty feet on the thing. Oh yeah. Um, then no, then it's going to try to break down uh, what you're standing on. Yeah. I figured it would be like, yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. So it's I'm like, oh, shit. Yeah. Um, can you make uh, reflex saves? Uh, yeah, I can do that. Yeah, I mean, it's it's, it's going to do enough damage to, to start knocking Destroy off the planks of, yeah, to start destroying this thing. Mm-hmm. Uh, the cloth the, start, the cloth on the, the ropes starts collapsing down where you're standing starts collapsing down. Just make sure you, you won't take any damage. Or no, you're 20 feet up. You would take damage. But, and you would also fall prone. Uh, so reflex save. Uh yeah, acrobatics. Boop. Twenty. Hey, you land on your feet like a like a dove. Yep. Um, you land you land on your feet. Uh, but um, you make a reflex save to to take half damage from falling twenty feet, which is decent. Uh, isn't that isn't that for the isn't that the acrobatics or is it dexterity save? Um, no, that should be it should all just be looped into one thing. That's fine. You're right. That's my bad. You're good. Um. But yeah, so you you avoid taking damage by making the acrobatic save. That's why. And just like tumble down. Yeah, you you like ride you like ride the silk. <laughs> All right. The silk. Uh. Korig is back here. Mm-hmm. Uh, and he's gonna take a. Basically, he wants to use the uh, crossbow. Stay out of its stay out of its range there. Uh, to do a shoot, shoot. Wow, I can hit for for days. It's good. Just hits the bolts of cloth. A plus. At least it didn't hit Dick One. That's really all that matters. Um, sorry. Uh, this you said it looks like it looks like he's like not doing. It should well. be there because it should be as close to Dick One as possible, right? Uh, but now it's it finally like a... in range of you because it the thing collapsed basically. It like it it, it attacked the it attacked the cloth. The cl- like it couldn't get as close to you because the cloth thing was in the way. It attacks the cloth. Cloth comes down. It steps on the cloth uh, in difficult terrain basically and, and lands fine. I would say the wreckage and the silk and stuff is difficult terrain. Is that fair too? Anything? Um, yeah. I mean, it can get wrapped up on your feet. Sure. Uh, pretty much. Like, um, this, this area is difficult terrain. I'm going to cast Toll the Dead. Slippery, slippery silk sticks sticking out, yeah. stuff like that. Do it. Hurt me. Toll. Uh, this is what a uh, wisdom saving throw. Wisdom saving throw. Of twelve. Seventeen. God damn it! <laughs> That's my turn. <laughs> All right, take one. You're face to face with this, this with this creature. Bad. What do you do? Okay. Everything's fine. I mean, everything is fine for me right now. I'm pretty okay. But I want I want to know knowing that the knowing that these things explode. Yeah. Would I know that I would have like maybe like a split second to get out of the way before it exploded? Or would it just be like attack explode instantly? Uh, I mean, it pretty much explodes instantly. Mechanically, okay. if you're within five feet of it, you, you have to make a reaction. Damn. Okay. So I'm thinking how I want to do this. You know what? No, I'm fine. I'm good. I don't, I don't need to do that. Okay. Yeah. I'm just going to like walk away from it. It's like, um, I'm done with this. So that's like, that's 10 feet there. Uh, it's going to make then... an attack of opportunity, right? Because you're not disengaging, right? No, I'm not. I'm gonna move. 
20 feet there. Oh, it misses the seven. Sure. <laughs> Nothing can touch me. <laughs> oh, God, this is crazy. Uh, and then I'm just going to. 20, 30. Yeah, that's good. And then I'm just going to um, cast Chromatic Orb at second level, doing 4d8 damage. And I'm going to use my normal uh, advantage, uh, inspiration, sorry, on this. Do advantage, yes it is. Boop. 20. Plus another d8. 17. Okay. Thunder, uh, lightning um, damage. It should be... It, um, any other creature, it should be dead. But now it's just this Scorched Hulk uh, husk is at one. It's tenacious thing means it cannot die uh, oh, right, for, the, yeah. for the one turn. Um, so it's it's still alive. Uh, Bajko is unconscious. Bajko uh, continues to lay on the ground. So it's this thing's turn again. Uh, it's going to lumber and get up close to you, Daquan. Um, it's not smart enough to go up uh, an extra five feet to try to explode on Bajko. It's just it's, it's, <laughs> it's gonna, gonna try to explode on me. Nice. Yeah. So, so it just, I mean, it, you're the closest target, so it's me. going after you. Gonna, <laughs> it's um, gonna so be it, like, come at me. Don't worry, Josh. You've not taken any damage. You're good. Uh, and I still haven't. It comes at me. A, f a frost shield comes over. Uh, my AC. Oh wait, there. Hold on. That's a twenty. I gotta get hit once. Fuck, I get hit once. Okay. That man. Uh, no flawless victory for Josh over here. No! Take one, take, you take six yeah. points of damage. No, uh, no. Korik. Uh, I'm gonna shoot with a crossbow. Like, uh... Sorry, sorry, Daquan. That just explodes all over you. And you crit. <laughs> Uh, all uh, damage. Not I yet. deal uh, plus. Uh, uh, sorry, it deals one uh, other. No, it's not melee. Never mind. Yeah, but uh, you know, it's a crit. Don't worry about it. It's crit. All right. Uh, so, uh, like the pirates before, it's going to explode. So reflex save, but also it gets one last with its reaction a a bite attack and uh, against Daquan at thirteen. That misses. It dies. So it, has, it has like a death throw biting attack before it explodes. Um, so it misses that, so just need a deck save against the uh, three points of acid damage. If you if you make the save, then it's uh, half damage, so one point of damage. Okay. Uh, 21. Make it. One point of damage. Nice. Okay, so technically I had, like, t temp eight hit points, so technically I still took no physical damage. <laughs> oh, yeah, because you have temporary hit points. Yeah. <laughs> That you didn't even you didn't even eat through all of those, did you? No, I didn't. I'm so mad. Um, <laughs> so this thing's dead. Thing is dead. Finny's yep. running over to Boshko. Uh huh. And um, does Boshko have any potions on him? Yeah, yeah. So she's got... gonna go. She's gonna go through his stuff. Yeah. He's actually got <laughs> two potions on him. Next, like I gave you one. Cause uh, there was the one. That, that you gave him earlier. Yep. The moderate cure the moderate that he never that he never No, he did take that one later. Never mind, I lied. So he's just got the the big one. He's got a, a D four plus four a four D four plus four. Yeah, yeah, she's gonna find that and just pour it down Boshko's throat. Mm -hmm. Good good call. <laughs> uh you, I you walk over to you. Uh Slightly whichever sick. yeah. Uh, whoever you two want, um, one of you can roll the healing, whichever you want. Uh, to do I didn't actually type roll, yeah. and I also am still Coric. Let's try this again. Basically, do you want to accept personal responsibility for a bad roll? <laughs> or do you want to have no. <laughs> do you want the comfort potion. of blaming someone else? Oh, oh, wow. No. Uh, Talk three... about a bad roll. Um, yeah, that's, uh, that's, 14, that's 11 <laughs> healing. Uh, that's, that's three okay. ones and a four. It's okay. So you crit the entire but row. But you are alive. <laughs> I am in fact alive. Yes, indeed. you are alive. That's crazy. All right. Um, Holy fuck. Both of you who have gone unconscious. So uh, Korik and Bashko mm -hmm. now both need to make wisdom saving throws. Okay. Well, well, before you do that. Oh, never mind. Cool. Sorry. Cool. Well, Korik has to make one too. Yep. Uh, yeah, I think she'll go over to Korik, um, because this has happened before, so she knows that. 
you know, he's got to come back from it, I think. Does that make yeah. sense? Mm -hmm. and he's so yeah, she'll go over to Court and thing. she'll, uh, she's going to cast Guidance on Court. Okay. So maybe he can shake it off. He doesn't need it. Didn't even need it. Uh, but he would really like uh, Minor Restoration if you have it. But, oh, uh, I'm out. I'm out. But, ba but well, Bashko does, though. Bashko gets this. Right? Uh... Uh, Bashko fails the wisdom saving throw, right? Yep. Okay. Can you roll a d100 for me, please, for Bashko? Oh, God. Yes. Yes, I can. I'm I sure everything is fine. Oh, spy. You literally fall unconscious. Is <laughs> that good or bad? You just, you just knocked out again. Okay. For how long? You just get <laughs> up and you just see what's happened and you just immediately just pass out. Oh, you have your, you have your HP, you just fall down. unconscious. Finny just turns around, it's <laughs> just like, I'm so tired. I, I swear the spell worked. Yeah. <laughs> it worked! <laughs> I did it the right way! Yeah. Mm -hmm. Finny, what did you do? <laughs> I gave just you kinda, the potion! This is on Cork him! just kind of grunts Bajko. and like, no. um, shoulders Bajko. Bajko's the one who, who this happens to, right? Uh, yeah, Boshko is the one that, that this happened to, because Cork actually yeah. saved, and I just didn't switch them back before I rolled the right. D100. Well, while you're, you're on, when you fall unconscious, uh, uh -huh. similar to what, um, what Finn had underneath the Parrot Cove, you also start experiencing, um, this, this falling into this dark like you woke up again and then like, and everyone's around you being like, you know, as you're, you, you come um, back to, uh, from unconsciousness and, and then all of a sudden like the room spins and, and you, you blink and your, your, your friends are gone and flashing in front of you is this violet sky and this great red dying sun. Um, and there's this sea of purple red blood underneath your feet. And you just, you just feel like the water, like the ground turns to water and you're standing on top of the water and the water level like rises to you. Everyone else just sees you like fall unconscious. Um, and the water just kind of consumes you. Uh, and you just enter this void space underneath this ocean. Um, and you see like underneath like this water, you can see some of these... Um, demonic pearls are these de demonic oysters like these gigantic clams that are like purple and violet and spiked just kind of like pulsing around you here and um mm -hmm. you hear uh uh this this deep dark booming voice around you um do you like what you see what do you say uh Nothing. He doesn't say yeah. anything. He just kind of growls. Yeah. Uh, from deep in the darkness, it sounds like a light switch turns on, and you just see two sets of red eyes in the distance, just kind of looking at you. Uh, and they kind of like bob up and down. And then another set of two red eyes turn on next to it. And these, so these four red eyes, these two pairs, just kind of look at you and, and gaze at, at your soul. They say, Bashko. Yes, I see you now. I see everything about you. And then you come on, then you regain consciousness. He screams as he wakes up. You're muted, Josh. You're muted. Uh, I step out like five feet. That was all. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah, I have energy in my hand. Like, eh. yeah. I think Finny was like over Boshko too, and it just scares the shit out of her. And she just falls back on her ass. Yeah, you, you just wake up screaming. <laughs> I don't um, like this place. I don't yeah. like it at all. Are you all? Are you all right? I know. I that potion wasn't supposed to do that. He just kind of shakes his head. Yeah. Um. Yeah. Whatever. Whatever that thing in the darkness was. Now knows you, knows your name. I'm gonna pretend. Or you think it does because you're you went mad for a minute. I, I mean, I just if I pretend it didn't happen, uh, then I'm still sane. Yeah, yeah, and, uh, that's yeah. how things work. Yeah, mm -hmm. uh, Korik, definitely. Korik, uh, not being healed, 
takes six points of intelligence damage. <sighs> Holy crap. Is he even awake? Uh, barely. What's uh, Quark's intelligence? Two? Yeah, Quark is basically animalistic. Uh, like, like, Bajko comes back and is, like, screaming, and then, like, Quark, like, growls at him as well and, like, goes to, like, jump at him and then, like, shakes his head like, no, no. Is, but he's, is, like... Is that He's is that kill mother wounding? Like, could, could I kill that? that, does, that the mother nope, kill restoration that. does that. It's got you, to be a restoration. If you need restoration, yeah. Um, I've got to have a long rest. You need a long rest? Or you, you better hope that maybe something like that is around here somewhere. Yeah. Right? Other than that, um, can someone make a medicine check? Maybe Finny or somebody make a med medicine check about a disease? Like, what's going on here? Yeah, I will. Uh, at 10. You. Okay. Are you going to help me? Yeah, I'll assist you if I can. 21. Cool. Uh, yeah. Um, based on this disease, this is like a rapid onset disease. Um, it's like a fever, and it makes you delirious, and it just robs you of your intelligence as, like, these blisters and things kind of, like, go up into your blood. Um, so I get, is, do I get the sense Coric, of yeah. what happened to these pirates? If that's yes, what's happening that's what to, happened Coric, to you. It's, it is to transferable. It? Yes, it is transferable. Okay. Um, and uh, based on the, the rate of this, that um, tomorrow morning, basically that the start of a new day, uh, Korok will get inflicted again um, with a D6 of intelligence damage, whatever that looks like in medicine wise. And if, if their intelligence goes to zero, <coughs> they rise as a, as a savage monster. Uh, I can take care of this, but I'm, I'm tapped. I've got to pray and rest before you, I can do anything yeah. to help. Um, but the Recovery, problem is, yeah. is that if you do that, then he, he takes the damage before you can actually do it, like, yeah. mechanically. Am I right? Exactly. What it though? Because it's only eight hours, not a full day, right? Is it, no, it's a start exactly of a new day. 24 hours? Yeah. Basically, you do not have enough time to to rest, the, to do the eight hours, get your spells before another tick of the D6 happens. But mm. I can't, if it won't heal, if it's already happened, the, it won't heal the disease? No, um... Because okay, if he rolls a if he rolls a one on the d six, you could save him. Yes. If he rolls anything else, Cora no, dies didn't... and then comes back up as a a thing. As a savage creature, yeah. Yeah. Gotcha. So I didn't you, realize yeah. he was dying. Um, you don't know what yeah. happens if you cast lesser 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 restoration on a creature that lost all its intelligence. You don't know what would happen. Do you have I guess like that's a highest spell slot? True. Hmm. You don't know. It's not like happened. you're an expert at abyssal diseases. Yeah, I'm not. Can I can I try and do like an arcana to see if I would know if that like that kind of magic transferable would like cure this obvious curse as well as it being some kind of like um, yeah. transfusion disease? I al I also have a question, Eric, and you can sure. shoot me down, of course. Finny oh, speaks abyssal. Could it make sense if she would have read something about this? Um, not that. Mm, no, I mean anything, in the books. Any she knows information? The language. No, the only thing you would know. Uh, gleamed off of that shadow of pearl, that identify spell, really is like okay. what you would know about this disease. Okay, right? yeah, that's fine. That's this fair. is not like a, you know, books are not written about this thing. Right? Yeah, that, that, not yet. That's fair. Not yet. Clearly, I'm gonna you need to write a book about it. Yeah. Um, right. So you got uh, thirteen. All right, you got a thirteen for your for your arcana check. Um, you, like, you if you chimed in here, you would think you think it's like a 50-50 shot. That either there's, you you know that either it will kill them outright, and they will just be dead, they'll be out of their misery, or if they're back, they might be fundamentally changed. Right, they might be different. Like this has this is going to have a permanent impact on them. I say this to you, uh, and uh, I say as well. <clears throat> I'm low on my ability to tap into my. Arcane, that's not my voice. I'm uh, I'm, I'm low, I'm tapping into my, to my arcane abilities. I'm quite tired. I don't know about you, Finny. I feel like if we go on, it won't just be Korik that's in this state. It'll be the rest of us. Yeah, possible. I don't want to leave Korik in this state. He saved my life twice. I suggest we head back to the 
forest or the beach, hold up there upon the hills and rest. Otherwise, if we get attacked and more of that disease gets in our blood, bro gonna be fucked. Right now, I think Korok's pretty fucked as it is. I think we would all do something. If we can't find something that's gonna help him out, the most I can do is, in the morning, try to help him. What do you think Cork would do? What do you think Cork would want? Uh, Cork probably wants to do the thing that protects the rest of the party. Like, that's at least how I... Yeah, selflessly? Yeah. Yeah. We'd be like, no, fall back kind of thing. Yeah. Uh -huh. You think that's fair? Yeah. You think that's what... Yeah. Cork yeah, would probably say that. That's been his thing all this, all yeah. this time. Yeah, Cork, Cork wouldn't, wouldn't want to risk... Uh, putting you all in harm. Bajko doesn't doesn't want his right. mentor to. Sure. Uh, That's probably yeah. To fall this way. That's but... probably the last thing Cork says before like he like the fever just makes him just ramble. You know, or just like yeah. like he literally can't speak at, at two intelligence. Like you can't. You no longer can speak common. Yeah. Quick question, but sure. when I was looking around and I saw the monster. I can, and I got that natural 20. Did I see anything else in the room that was of note? Um, Before that monster, like, attacked us? Yeah. Or jumped um, around again? I mean, you would know... You notice a couple things in terms of the direction of the passageway of this place. Uh, you notice that there are uh, two exits to the north. Uh, one to the northeast and one to the northwest. Um, okay. Where they, as, in addition, there's two other exits. This is sort of like a focal point of, of the caves. Right, um, there's an exits to the southeast and the west as well. You entered from the direct south. So there's basically four other exit points at this point. Mm. Um, you don't know where they go though. But other than that, uh, there's just silk around. Um, you would know that if you could clean up the silk, it'd be worth some money. But other than that, <laughs> I'm gonna take like um. um uh, oh, forgive uh, me. Like a there's one more thing in here. Oh. Uh, there is. There is a, a collection of tomes and books in uh, on a desk near in this room, up in the oh, top shit. corner. I'm gonna go look at those. Yeah, yeah point that out. My gym jam. Mm -hmm. I'll help you. Yeah. Yeah. I guess you uh, want me to investigate. All right. I'll uh, keep an eye out for no, anything there... else and yeah. make sure that Cork doesn't get any trouble. There's no investigation checks needed here. Um, however, uh, because you look at the tomes, these are tomes written by a, um, a famous uh, naturalist, and it seems to be uh, a, a collection of topics about um, creatures like lizard folk and uh, other naturalist studies uh, in the local Emidio jungle, which is the jungles around uh, Sasserin. Mm -hmm. um, you know, this, to, to a rare collector, um, like your library would love these kind of, kind of books, Katie. Mm -hmm. Right, uh, Finny, this would be a great find for them, as well as a, a rare collector would pay a pretty penny for these books. I mean, I think she's not going to spend a lot of time like, actually diving yeah. into them because they don't have the time, but she's totally. going to look through them, see what they're about, and then put them in her bag. Sure. Um. I, I think we should just do what Daquan said, get out of here, and maybe rest and Right. Pray that in the morning, I can do something for Korak. If we, yeah. All right. So if you, so, so, so it's on the table. So you know, if you could, you could press forward in some direction, hope that you know if there might be a battle. You know, there's these caves are not cleared of anything, um, but maybe somewhere there is a lesser restoration potion, and you might be able to save Korak. If you choose to back out. You can totally long rest. Like, you could leave this bubble area and long rest here, but Cork will absolutely be in the hands of, of R and Jesus. You roll a d6, take the intelligence damage. If it's a one, it's no problem, but if it's a two or more, Cork becomes a savage monster. And I mean, you don't know what happens if you try to rest, restore a savage monster. 50 50, if you want. Do you, like, is that, is that clear? Is that, those, that's, those are the yeah. stakes. I think we rest because either it's yeah. like at the I, very I least it's... we need a short rest because yeah uh, I'd like some hit points yeah but like if we get attacked again 
we're all going to be infected. So then, then, we'll, then we'll have to do like a rest anyway. So at least this way, and then like as soon as we rest, that's more that's more spell slots. So then we're going to be down again. So it's it makes it better to do it now and only use one, and then see what happens. Over then, us getting all infected. The, the, the trick is that if we if we do this, it's it's very. I mean, both both paths are risky. We're in a kind of a in a, we're in a fucked up situation. Yeah, we're in a kind of fucked up situation. Totally. So, uh, I mean, I think I've got. Uh, I don't know, I'm out of rages, but I could heal, be back at full hit points. Uh, I have one superiority die left. Can you pass um, a, a save though every time you get hit? I mean, I don't need to. Well, I guess Bajko. Bajko can. Bajko can take a, a save every every time he gets hit, and uh, 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 Quirk doesn't need to because he's already infected. I vote for long rest. Okay. I mean, yeah, I... like Dempsey, I don't think would have a big problem with whatever happens. Like we're choosing nope. as fair as possible given the moment. Yeah, we're, yeah. we're Jaegering him. Like they know that. Yeah, I also I feel like so. Dempsey would. Do like, the group over the individual. Yeah, I, totally. I like agree. Quark would. Yeah, we're not playing Quark like wrong, right? Yeah. I just. All right, I cool. protect Daquan. Yeah. <laughs> right, no, he <laughs> Only Daquan. He, 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 he wouldn't right. do that. Yeah. <laughs> so I'm I'm cool with it, right? Okay. Let's see. Yeah, I All think right. we need to dip out, take a long rest, and and try our chances. Mm. So right. uh, as we're leaving, I'm gonna get the silk that best. Like, like 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 the yellow one that best resembled the texture of the ridge that we're gonna go on mm -hmm. uh, and i'm like gonna like try and like camouflage us while we're up there for the long rest right so like let's say we're in the we're in the jungle right ignore the, the apes they're not there anymore <laughs> well yeah, i was taking yeah. us to like the, the just 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 outside the cave like to that ridge no, oh. I think we wanted to get outside of the bubble, though. Yeah, I figured I wasn't oh, sure we if you were outside going the outside the bubble okay. or not. Yeah, yeah, we oh, probably okay. need to. We're not going like all the way all back right. to where we dropped uh, off, but we're getting outside of this weird ass bubble. But it's okay. still that 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 cover still really that's a good idea. Have us yeah. Yeah. kind of cover from the elements and anyone seeing us. Yeah. Yep. Okay. Um. What else would I say here? Because there's there's some there's this has ramifications that I think you would know about. Um, you would know that the conflict that happened around that um, that place was only a couple hours old. You're going to be having to find way more clues later on if you wait your eight hours and or be a little bit more than eight hours here resting before returning, yeah. right? That clues will no longer be fresh. Um, that's something to consider as well. I mean, that assumes we care what happened here. Well, you're looking for Vanthus. <laughs> true. Yeah. Uh, true. True. Sure, we were. Right. I mean, it, technically, he's still still part of the orchid, the lotuses, as far yeah. like as far as he knows so far. So, you know, there's still chances, at least in Daycon's mind, to like catch him. Okay, cool. Yeah, I'm totally fine with it. Just wanted to put everything out on the table, you know. I don't want to be like, "Ha, gotcha." <laughs> gotcha. Cool. Right. To rask. All right. Um, <laughs> no. <laughs> no. All right. Uh, so then we we long rest. Who wants to roll for the 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 damage to Quark? I could roll it if none of you feel comfortable, but I think if somebody, I would. I think it would be nice if one of you did it. My um, luck has been all over the place. Otherwise, otherwise, if if you feel it's fair that Quark's fate could be in the hands of me, that's fine. I will. I'll I, roll if you, it. no one, nobody wants that responsibility. I will totally do it. Yeah. I'll roll it. What do I roll? Let's roll it slash RD6. Mm. Okay. You did no! uh, it! You had two. No, it had to be a one. Oh, so it had to be a it one. It had to be a one. All right. Cork, uh, two over. Is how much. Um, is exactly how much intelligence he has. I would have, um, like, so, like, also as well, a bit now as well. Um, I, I, I also would have taken enough silk and like I have rope as well to tie him down because right. we knew that we knew this was going to happen. Right. Okay. Mm -hmm. So a time to a tree or something. Um. Yeah. You know this would happen. Uh, Cork hasn't awoken yet. 
Um, I think he's the problem. I think the point when you guys are, are finished kind of resting and you got all sleep very, very, mm -hmm. very lightly, right? Considering um, yeah. the circumstances. During the, while this is happening, I forgot that I don't have to use spell slot to do a fucking ritual because I know how to play D&D. &D. Mm -hmm. Sometime before, you know, this all, the, the morning comes up, I want to um, do augury. Because mm. I have those oh, okay. gems. Mm-hmm. Uh, I'm gonna roll the gym. Yeah, so you so you spend twenty five gold. So you um by cat okay, yeah. When what do you do? Um I'm going to um just be all I think I'm gonna walk a distance away. Just mm -hmm. sit down, crisscross applesauce, and um roll these roll these gems, because that, that's what I'm gonna use for it. Um right. and uh I'm going to just Justice, I'm in a very, very, very precarious situation right now, but I really need your... I need a sign that something's going to work. And that's okay. what I'm going to do. Um. I think it's right before, because it's within the next 30 minutes, so it's like right as the sun's rising, probably, before she knows that Quark might wake up. Mm -hmm. mm -hmm. Okay. And you give me an omen. Uh, sure. It comes out as a wheel. Oh, okay. <laughs> okay. So when I think if she gets this, like, maybe it's this feeling of security, you know, of warmth from Istas. I think she's going to go over to Korik and wake him up and cast Lesser Restoration. Should you okay. cast Lesser Restoration and then wake him up? Quark doesn't wake up when you go. He's comatose. Okay. Well, then I'm just going to do less restoration. Uh, okay. She tried to wake him up, but if, you know, if he's mm -hmm. not giving any... <laughs> Rise and shine. Yeah. I also recast my, um... Full slow. Okay. Of course you do. Um, yeah. Eight again. Awesome. Oh, I guess I should probably roll for uh, hit points. Yeah. That's not what I wanted to do. Yeah. Jesus Christ. I think she's just like telling Corey, like, please, 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 work. You saved hey, my life much. and I feel really guilty. Mm -hmm. Um, Quark's skin turns a dead gray um, with your healing. Um, his eyes open up and he gasps and he takes a, a feral breath like <gasps> and then like you, the the red in his eyes uh kind of like fades for a minute and Korik's back but forever changed for a minute um teetering on death's door um so he is um partially mutated but alive and uh, sentient <laughs> Um, and he's definitely gained uh, several badness effects, but Cork's alive. Uh, is he back at his normal intelligence? Uh, no. Uh, you. Let's say he's at. Uh, let's roll a d6, an extra d6 here, and that's how much intelligence he's gained back. Okay. I'll roll it. Three. Uh, he can almost talk. Uh, <laughs> no. So just he's at the no. So he's not at zero two three. He's from let's say okay. two to, like let's say plus so he's at like five or let's just let's just do an easy six. Let's just do a casual six. Sure, casual six. Um, that's <laughs> most of the way back. Yeah. Uh, let's see. Can someone roll a d? Can someone roll a d one hundred for me, please? Not it. Do it. <laughs> do it. I'll do it. God damn it. <laughs> Thirty-eight. Thirty-eight. Um. All right, the character regards no, something uh, with intense revulsion. This <laughs> well, the shadow pearl. This being... place. Yeah. Mm -hmm. the... Yeah, that that works. Yeah, the source of the madness. Um, himself. Well, I was gonna say that Finney's probably like just hugged him, so maybe he was his first revolting. Uh, <laughs> Which means, that that well, that means he would try to fight you. Right? That you did this to him. 
Yeah, let's not do that because it's like a permanent thing. <laughs> yeah. Um... <laughs> it's just see correct. It's like consistently trying to kill Finny <laughs> every day. <laughs> I'm considering how much we rely on him to keep Finny alive. Maybe that's not a good idea. And um, getting lost. <laughs> no, let's do this. Uh, so Quark, uh, Quark's personality is fundamentally changed. Um, they they gain a flaw until they are cured, and their flaw is there is only one solution to my problem: kill them all. Oh no! Okay. Nice. Um, they Stop have uh. So, yeah, I'll talk to I'll talk to Cork. I'll talk to Dempsey about the effects that he has right now. Um, but yeah, you're somewhere between um, you're basically cursed. Basically, they're 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 a cursed, partially savaged creature uh, affected by the Shadow Pearl and the Abyss. Good, good, brilliant, that's great. Um, yeah, so that's cool. Um, they're immune. They're now immune to disease. Uh, exhaustion, fatigue, um, any sort of, like, I guess probably uh, immune to charming as well. But they're also um, basically insane um, and driven to, to kill everything. Uh, they're afflicted. Um, wait. Yeah. Uh, so, so mechanically, uh, a greater restoration would need to be cast in order to uh, cure him once and for all. Yeah, but right now he's kind of like in this weird limbo. He's in this limbo land, and frankly, the more time he's spent this way, I don't think a greater restoration could cure his personality. Mm. <laughs> Sick burn. <laughs> so oh I'm my God. being kind of like in this half alive twilight state. Nope. Um, I'll also, uh, I'll also ask Dempsey if Dempsey's cool with that, or if you think Cork would rather just like and like not not be around because of of this state. So that's that's on the table too. But uh, we should probably well, yeah, he just probably take our long rest, in. restore that stuff, and then end it for the day because that's a pretty yeah. good, that's a pretty good moment. Yeah. There we go. Yeah. I, I just want to say I entered another battle situation where I got a flawless victory and never got. <laughs> You just rub it in. You must feel just real good about yourself. I really do. <laughs> I really do. <laughs> oh wow. At least somebody does. Good shit. Finny feels uh, like shit. My uh, I'll, I would tell the story. In uh, the first time I ever ran this campaign, um, they they we ran into a lot of trouble with that that Dionychus <laughs> creature as well, um, and it was the acid splash that killed um somebody. Uh, they did enough damage to actually hurt someone when they were below zero. They hit their con, killed them. They got knocked oh. down that far. Uh, oh, this creature no. in third edition is way more brutal uh, because in third edition there's like tripping and pouncing and extra claw attacks and stuff like that. There's all this big, huge like thing about it, and this creature mm -hmm. is like just that's what it does, and its resistances and stuff just make it very, very difficult to fight. And so, anyways, it took down someone in one round, and then it, like everyone else fought it off, but then it exploded next to him and did enough damage that it killed him. So, like, oh. it's, yeah, it's really, it was really, it was really shitty. But that's I, I rolled everything in the open in the side. <coughs> yeah. So, congratulations! None of you died. Well, I can't really say sort that. of, sort of, <laughs> sort, sort of. of. Finny sort actually of. healed for yeah. once in her life. <laughs> yeah. How did that feel? Did it feel intense? Yeah. Yeah. Very, um, I'm so stressed out. I was like heavy on a tactic there. Yeah, liked. yeah, this is not an easy, easy dungeon. So, um, yeah, I'm, I'm, I'm glad. I'm, I'm happy, happy we had a, a good, uh, intense fight today. Uh, there's yeah, so there'll, sure. there'll be more to have, uh, for next, um, next time. So, uh, just don't cast any spells, Kay, just save restoration. <laughs> All right, uh, let's let's go around, uh, Katie. Uh, yeah, I'm Katie. You can find me on Twitter at uh, my personal Twitter at Katie Face. I'm also on Off the Table um, through the week, doing a lot of shows there. Tonight I'll be there playing Urban Shadows with Eric. Um, 
on Thursdays, I'm on Scraticus's channel. I'm the MC for Monster Hearts there. Um, it's Thanksgiving this week, so we'll be running a game of Honey Heist because one of our members can't make it. So it's going to be just a very fun time. <laughs> 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 Who am I? <laughs> I'm so stressed out. I don't even can't even be myself. Um, but yeah, just follow me on Twitter. I have a schedule up and I post everything that I do. Awesome. Awesome. Hey, everybody. I'm Kelsa. You can find me on Twitter at Kelsa, Twitch, and YouTube. It is Kelsa Delphi, K E L S A D E L P H I. Uh, I play role playing games on the internet. Uh, when I'm not here, uh, I am on my own channel. Uh, with this being the holidays, um, um, the next showing of uh, uh, Almost Oregon has been uh, postponed into December. Um, so shocking. Uh, I uh, also on Mondays I'm over on AP's channel for uh, Ken Cole, which is a weird anime ship girl um, role playing game. Uh, it's pretty fun. It's very silly. Uh, it's surprisingly tactical. Uh, I'm going to be at Pax Unplugged next week. Um, is that is, that, is it already next week? Shit. Basically, yeah. Uh, super looking forward to that. I guess um, you'll probably I should probably like tweet about that or something. I don't know. Uh, I'm going to be there. It's going to be fun. If you're there, uh, I, I like high fives. Yeah. Awesome. Yeah. And uh, yeah, thank you for having me. Love, love playing this. Uh, I got to exit back into Daquan shoes. Uh, I am pro restarter uh you can catch me on twitch twitter and youtube and instagram i do a slew of stuff throughout the week and going on uh so i literally just check out my twitter for my schedule to see when i'm streaming if i do a schedule and who i'm streaming with thank you for having me as always yeah totally and thanks yeah thank you thank you all for for hanging out thanks chat uh, i'm eric i've been been your host and, and and dungeon master today uh, responsible for for all of the scary monsters and the music and and spookiness, and uh, I will also be at Pax Unplugged. Um, we're off next yeah. week. There won't be a Savage uh, Tide because I will be in the sky, flying to the East Coast for Pax Unplugged. Um, I'm going to be there all next week, so um, we won't have a, an episode the that week. Um, and I have to see if I have to confirm. Um, we may not have it for two weeks because of that, and uh, me coming back on a Tuesday as well. No, we're we're good. We're good for the fourth. We're good for December fourth. Right. Okay, night, I everybody. will be on a plane December fourth, so y'all will be playing yeah. my character. You'll be playing yeah, Boshko we'll, for me. We'll be Jaegering. Yeah, we'll be Jaegering Boshko over that time. Mm -hmm. But uh, seriously, uh, this has been awesome. Uh, I really like this game a lot. Uh, I can't ask for a better cast. So, uh, thank you all. Aww. And uh, yeah, Yay. seriously, sincerely. So I think we're gonna get out of here then. Goodbye, so, everybody. Take care. Bye. Bye.